Chapter 3280 One Immortal King Tears, Long Chen's voice resounded throughout the Jiaoming ancient city. It was calm, but that calmness contained powerful confidence. It was not a threat, and it was not done to scare others. It was like he was just stating a fact, yet also like announcing a heavenly edict. Two. Long Chen didn't give them any time to consider this, and directly started counting. The atmosphere instantly grew intense. All the experts within the city held their breaths. This youngster was far too domineering. He was trying to subdue the entire vile dragon domain in one go. Just as Long Chen was opening his mouth to count to three, the void shuddered and two figures appeared in front of Long Chen. One was a tall and thin man in blood-colored armor. He had a spear on his back and emitted soaring blood kai. The other one had sideburns and a beard. His eyes were like copper bells. Also, he had a huge hatchet on his back and his killing intent was particularly stifling. The one with the spear was the Iron Blood Mercenary Group's leader, while the one with the beard was the master of the Blood Drinking Alliance. Both of them looked at Long Chen coldly. The mercenary leader sinisterly said, Brett, are you not afraid that the two of us would join forces and kill you all right here? In the end, Long Chen managed to force both of them out. However, they were both infuriated. Since I dare to come here and call myself boss, I naturally must have the ability to be the boss. If I didn't have the ability to control everything, I wouldn't come here and embarrass myself. If the two of you feel that just killing Qiu Yang wasn't enough, then I welcome any of you to come and provoke me. I don't mind killing two more, said Long Chen indifferently. You're crazy, said the mercenary leader coldly. Just this is called crazy? No, no, no. That's because you still haven't seen when Boss Long San is really crazy. Even the world king-like in Puda isn't placed in my eyes. I'll say something that you won't like to hear. In front of a few mortal tier immortal kings, there's entirely no need for me to go crazy. I know that you are all ruthless characters, and I myself am specialized at killing ruthless people. It seems that my friend's sword alone was unable to shake you. Then I'll give you another chance. Anyone who doesn't submit, come out and challenge me. Of course, it would be no problem even if all four of you came at me together, said Long Chen. After hearing this, their expressions changed. Long Chen was too arrogant. He actually wanted to fight all four of them together. Foolish little brother, with how handsome you are, how could Big Sister be willing to fight you? Jiang Yu was the only one who smiled. Jiang Yu was quite smart. She didn't do anything that she wasn't assured of. As she was unable to see through Long Chen, she didn't make any rash decisions. Being the first to give up on this challenge was quite a smart decision. It both gave face to Long Chen and a way out for her. As for Zhao King Long, he didn't say a word. He had lost his little spirit King Qi Yang, and was now the weakest of the four major powers. He had no right to be arrogant at this time. He wished for the Blood Drinking Alliance and the Iron Blood Mercenary Group's leaders to attack Long Chen. That way, he could see just how strong Long Chen was. However, he was disappointed that the two of them were no fools. Although they acted tough, they had only come to test the waters. To have them challenge Long Chen while Zhao King Long and Jiang Yu merely watched. They wouldn't do something so foolish. What do you want? demanded the Iron Blood Mercenary Group's leader. Although his tone was cold, he very clearly didn't want to do something he couldn't win. I don't want much. I just want to cooperate for something big. I was originally going to talk with you with good intentions, but you didn't seem to want to. When I was little, my mom made me read books. She said after reading books, you can talk reason with others. When I grew up, though, I learned that while I could talk reason, others wouldn't listen. 
I realized that this method was no good, so I started cultivating with all my power just so that I could force people to talk reason with me. So killing people isn't the goal. The goal is to make others sit down and talk reason. So I want to know, are you willing to talk reason with me now? Asked Long Chen. The four leaders were left rattled by Long Chen. They were confused and had no idea what he wanted. Ultimately, it was Jiang Yu who said, of course we can talk reason. As long as others aren't taking our food, anything can be discussed. Don't you think so as well, little brother? Long Chen smiled. I, Long Chen, have walked in this world for so many years, but I've never taken other people's food. Of course, that's other than my enemies. That's another story. Don't worry, I am not interested in your position, nor do I want a portion of this place where even birds don't crap. I simply want to collaborate. The collaboration will be mutually beneficial, and I won't take your rice bowls. I'll even add some extra meat into your bowls. Really? The leader of the Iron Blood mercenary group didn't fully believe him. I, Long Chen, disdain lying. As for why I went to such pains just to eliminate a single Q Yang, it was just so that we could properly talk. If there's no need to kill more people, then let us simply sit down and chat. Long Chen waved his hand. A table then appeared along with four seats. The four of them hesitated slightly, but they all sat down. This indicated that they were willing to listen to Long Chen. The four of them had only just sat down when the space around them vanished. They jumped in shock and instinctively reached for their weapons. No need to worry. This matter relates to certain secrets. I can't let outsiders listen is all, said Long Chen indifferently. Only then did they realize that they were in a peculiar space cut off from the outside world. They also took note of Bai Ziol, who was behind Long Chen. As they recognized his three flower pupils, their hearts pounded hard. Bai Ziol appeared completely unremarkable behind Long Chen, but he actually possessed such a terrifying divine ability. This one move from Bai Ziol further shook them. In truth, this was also done intentionally by Long Chen. Only by intimidating them could they properly discuss the future. Little brother, what kind of good thing did you come here for that requires our collaboration? Asked Jiang Yu. She giggled. It couldn't be collaborating with me to have children, right? Bai Shishi glared at Jiang Yu. She felt her to be just like Lu Mingxuan. However, Lu Mingxuan only had a dirty mouth, but this Jian Yu was capable of actually following through. Furthermore, her clothes that revealed a full view of the mountain valley were definitely a bit unacceptable to a rather conservative woman like Bai Shishi. In the face of Jiang Yu's teasing, Long Chen smiled. When it comes to making children, we can consider that later. I want to ask the four of you if I could offer you a chance to advance from a mortal tier immortal king to a spirit tier immortal king. Would you grasp that chance? What? As soon as Long Chen said this, the four of them shot up, staring in shock at him. Favorite. Chapter 3282 Spirit King Pill The immortal king realm was different from other realms. It was the one where talent mattered the most. In the Immortal King realm, a person's spirit root condensed into crystal form. It was the Immortal King crystal. It was a bit similar to the cores and needens of devil beasts and demonic beasts. The Immortal King crystals were split between heaven, earth, spirit, and mortal tears. The mortal tear was the worst. For ordinary disciples, the Divine Lord realm was their limit. Only primals who had awakened their bloodline could advance to the Immortal King realm, as only they could condense an Immortal King crystal with the support of their primal bloodline. Furthermore, the Immortal King crystal absorbed their bloodline to condense. The result was that over 80% of all Immortal King crystals ended up being mortal tier. 
only a small portion managed to condense spirit tier crystals as for the earth tier and heaven tier they were mostly all cultivated to that level through later effort someone who could condense an earth tier a mortal king crystal right as they advanced to the immortal king realm was qualified to be called a peerless heavenly genius they would definitely become an overlord once they grew up as for anyone who could condense heaven tier immortal king crystals they were essentially the peak figures of the immortal world it was said as lord brahma fallen danate and the likes of them had directly condensed heaven tier immortal king crystals when they advanced to this realm an immortal king crystal was called innate when it was first condensed if it was later cultivated to a higher level through talent resources pills and the various treasures of the world then they were called acquired immortal king crystals other than the likes of lord brahma and fallen day night geniuses that might not appear once in a million years most people advanced with acquired immortal king crystals thus this kind of differentiation was rarely used in the immortal world as there were essentially no innate immortal king crystals to speak of most people acquired higher tiers through effort not talent hence the majority of immortal kings were in the mortal tier they had an awkward position in this realm that was because their realms would stop in the early immortal king realm they didn't dare to further cultivate once they advanced to the mint stage it meant that the quality of their immortal king crystal was set in stone no matter what they did in the future they would never be able to progress to the spirit tier in other words their cultivation base would forever stagnate at the mid immortal king stage it would be impossible for them to advance any further whether it was mortals or cultivators the thing that they feared the most was seeing the end of their future that was a despair worse than death thus the majority of mortal tier immortal kings were stuck at the early stage of their realm if they advanced to the spirit tier they could reach the mid stage and if they advanced to the earth tier they could reach the late stage only a heaven tier immortal king dared to advance to the full circle of the immortal king realm in preparation for breaking through to the world king realm furthermore different tiers of immortal kings possessed vastly different combat powers in the same realm due to this tier difference a spirit tier immortal king could crush a mortal tier immortal king effortlessly back in the yuhua palace the patriarch had been able to easily suppress jang waizhong because the patriarch had advanced to the spirit tier even if jang waizhong wanted to revolt he didn't have the power to fight the patriarch there was a huge difference between the mortal tier and the spirit tier thus jang yu and the others were unable to even speak when they heard long chen's words they were profoundly aware of just how difficult it was to advance to the spirit tier they had tried countless spirit medicines and had meditated upon countless rare lands all without the slightest sign of advancing thus they helplessly came to the vile dragon domain the vile dragon domain was even less suitable for breaking through so they had accepted their fates in any case they were all mortal tier immortal kings and they were all helpless against each other thus mutual restraint was the safest they were prepared to spend a lifetime here with no intention of advancing but they hadn't expected long chen to toss out such a luring bait as soon as he came their heads buzzed for a while they were unable to reply are you being serious asked the mercenary leader his voice heavy if anyone else simply tossed out such an offer he would directly beat them up for lying not even a child would believe such a lie but when it came from long chen's mouth his intuition told him that long chen wasn't the kind of person to lie about this i'm very busy i have no time to waste i wouldn't tell a lie that is so easy to see through long chen took out a simple case and put it on the table he indicated for them to take a look the four of them exchanged a glance in the end it was the mercenary leader who couldn't help reaching out and opening the case 
Inside the case was a pill covered with spots and wrinkles. It looked very ugly. The mercenary leader was enraged, thinking that Long Chen was duping them. But Long Chen indifferently said, That is the pill veil. If you take off the pill veil, you'll see its true appearance. Following his instructions, the mercenary leader carefully pinched the pill. With a light sound like a walnut's exterior being cracked, a pure white pill appeared in front of them. This pill was as bright as a full moon. It emitted a gentle light that made everyone's eyes brighten. Jiang Yu and the others stared at the pill thirstily. Even Bai Ziol and the others could hear their hearts pounding wildly. There was a halo of light around the pill that was connected to the interior of the pill. The light spun, and its orbit seemed to contain the profundities of heaven and earth. Just looking at the pill refreshed the mind. The more they stared, the more they wanted to look at it. Moreover, Jiang Yu and the others clearly felt their king crystals quivering inside of them. The thirst that their king crystals felt for this pill was even greater than what they felt themselves. Spirit King Pill The mercenary leader swallowed his saliva with great difficulty and spat out three words. He recognized this treasure that countless immortal kings dreamed of obtaining. It was something capable of increasing the quality of a king crystal. A spirit king pill could allow their immortal king crystal to directly advance to the spirit tier. This was a heaven-defying treasure, one that could change their fates. Hence, spirit king pills were incomparably precious. They were priceless treasures that didn't even exist on the market. Well, if there were any available, they were held in the hands of the supreme sects. People like the likes of them were unable to obtain them. They had bitterly tried, using all kinds of methods over countless years, all without obtaining a single spirit king pill. Eventually, they gave up and came here to grow old. Now that a spirit king pill had sent itself right to them, how could they not go crazy? If it was someone else offering it to them, they would have started fighting over it. But in front of Long Chen, they didn't dare to. Long Chen had even taken out a spirit king pill, so they felt even more reverence for him now. The four of them were fully subdued by him. Only one. Do you want the four of us to kill each other so that you can gain full control over the vile dragon domain? Asked the leader of the blood-drinking alliance. As soon as he said this, the other three cooled down and looked at Long Chen warily. Is there something wrong with your head or are you deaf? Didn't I already say that I'm not interested in your powers? Your subordinates are trash. I wouldn't want them even if you were to give them to me. Let me repeat myself, and for the last time, because I'm very busy. Do you want to work together or not? If not, then scram, said Long Chen frostily. Long Chen's tone was not at all polite. But hearing him say this put the alliance head at ease. Navaloon, calm little brother, why don't we get straight to the point? What did you come here for? How can we serve you? Jiang Yu finally looked away from the spirit king pill and looked at Long Chen solemnly. Do you know where the ruins of the High Firmament Academy's seventh branch academy are? You couldn't be. That is impossible. The four of their expressions instantly changed. Terror filled their eyes. Chapter 3283 Terrifying Place Long Chen hadn't expected the four of them to react so strongly. All of them seemed terrified. But is that place very frightening? asked Long Chen. The four of them looked at each other, seemingly not knowing just how to respond. It was Jiang Yu who said, Little brother, didn't you say that you are the dean of the Seventh Branch Academy? How could you not know about the state of the Seventh Branch Academy? I really don't know. Big sister, please explain it if you can, said Long Chen. He naturally didn't know. The Academy had not given him any information at all other than that the Seventh Branch Academy was within the vile dragon domain. Jiang Yu looked at him oddly. It seemed that he really didn't know. 
your high firmament academy is the oldest academy in the immortal world so your branch academies are older than most sects the seventh branch academy was destroyed millions of years ago and its ruins are located on the south side of the vile dragon domain that is exactly the opposite of jayaming ancient city with one south and one north the two are very far apart little brother the south is a land of death that is where the vile dragons roam and tree demons run rampant most frightening of all there is a deep hole there every night when the moon is up you will hear the roaring of fiends the curious thing about that fiendish roar is that sometimes it's like ghosts howling sometimes it's like a woman crying there are also times when it sounds like singing the most terrifying one is the singing it causes a person to lose their mind take a look at this jiang yu suddenly pulled down her robe revealing a triangular black hole it was as if she had been pierced by something and the resulting wound could not be healed by Ziol, and the others quickly turned away when she pulled down her robe however long chen was shocked to feel a strange aura residing within this wound it was what was stopping her from healing after showing long chen she pulled her robe back up seemingly not embarrassed at all she continued i was schemed against by a certain person there resulting in me being drawn in by that devil music i ended up lured into that region and then i was stabbed by something while i was affected by the music the pain woke me up fortunately i was still on the outer edge and i managed to flee after that i established the dragon slaughtering guild jiang yu glanced at jiao king long with killing intent it was clear that the person she was referring to was jiao king long this was the origin of their enmity jiang yu had come after the azure dragon gang the blood drinking alliance and the iron blood mercenary group were built naturally the original inhabitants did not want new threats to establish themselves in their territory however the blood drinking alliance and the iron blood mercenary group had felt that while she was a threat she wasn't worth any drastic actions on the other hand zhao king long was quite sinister taking advantage of her lack of experience with the vile dragon domain to con her but he hadn't expected her to survive as a result his scheming had gained him a new mortal enemy the blood drinking alliance and the iron blood mercenary group were not allies with the azure dragon gang so they were quite happy to have someone restrict zhao king wong as a result the dragon slaughtering guild was born it had already been many years but when she mentioned this terrifying matter her heart still pounded with fear the same thing happened every time she thought about it there's such a thing it seems that it's going to be quite hard to be the dean then long chen frowned this matter was even thornier than he had thought it's not just that it is essentially impossible to even get close to that region the legend is that there is some ancient giant corpse buried there it has infected the soil there and even changes the laws of the heavenly Tao's. A suicidal adventurer went there and saw that Quartz Kai had condensed into a giant spatial hole. From that hole, he saw a fiendish world. However, after fleeing back, he didn't even finish explaining his whole story when black blood suddenly gushed out of all his orifices, and he died. Starting then, no one dared to go in that direction. There are also too many devil beasts there even the countless precious medicines that can be found there aren't alluring enough for people to risk that danger the ruins of your seventh branch academy are at the core of that region your academy wants you to be the dean of that branch are you sure that they weren't sending you to your death jiang yu looked at him curiously what nonsense don't try to sow dissension raged by shishi this woman was actually questioning the relationship between long chen and the academy long chen said no you misunderstand i was the one who wanted the position of the dean of the seventh branch academy 
Now that you've said all this, I really am curious about that place. Will you accompany me there? No way. The four of them spoke at the same time. All four of them had the same attitude toward that place. You're so cowardly, scoffed Long Chen. The Iron Blood Mercenary Group's leader shook his head. It's not a question of cowardice. Although our lives are spent on top of a bloody blade, we're not going to do something that is sure death. That is pure stupidity. Although your spirit, King Pill, is very enticing, it's not enough for us to simply throw away our lives. Clearly, they were extremely terrified of that place. Even the spirit king pills were not enough for them to risk it. After all, it wasn't as important as their lives. If you give us the spirit king pills and let us advance to the spirit tier, perhaps we can talk about it, said Zhao King Long. Long Chen smiled. A nice idea. It makes sense. But even if I gave you the spirit king pills, due to having stagnated at your level for so long, it would take at least three to five years for you to advance to the spirit tier. I can't wait that long. How about this? You will accompany me to take a look. If you encounter any danger, you have the right to retreat at any time. Even if we don't succeed, I can give you half of the spirit king pills as the reward. I'll give two pills to the four of you. If two people absorb a single pill, there is still a 30% chance that you can advance. If we do find the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy, it'll be enough if I can just see it. If so, I'll give all of you a complete spirit king pill. Your lives are important, and our lives are also important. If it really is impossible, we won't force it. What do you think about that? The four of them were moved. Just accompanying them to take a look would get them one spirit king pill each. Although some of the medicinal effects would be lost if it was split, it still had a great effect. Furthermore, Long Chen's words were very reasonable. This was a group of heavenly geniuses. They wouldn't just foolishly charge forward into sure death, so they all felt that it was possible to risk it. Are you sure that you won't eat your words? Asked the mercenary leader. Long Chen waved his hand, and a case flew toward the mercenary. He then found another spirit king pill inside. After that, Long Chen gave the spirit king pill on the table to Jiang Yu. Looking at all of them, he said, The word of boss Long Chen is definitely not inferior to that of the Huey on Trading Company. Count this as your advance payment. One pill for two people. Now that they were holding the spirit king pills, Jiang Yu and the mercenary leader were both moved. Long Chen's money spending style was truly shocking. All right. Since Junior Brother is so generous, Big Sister will accompany you, said Jiang Yu solemnly. She was prepared to gamble, not alone, calm. Chapter 3284 Ghost Wailing Eight As soon as Jiang Yu agreed, the other three also nodded. This offer didn't come at any loss to them. Furthermore, they had the right to leave at any time. As long as they were careful, there should be no problem. Moreover, they had all seen that Long Chen was someone with extraordinary means. He should cherish his life even more than others. However, Zhao Qinglong also added that if they did fail, he would not split a spirit king pill with Jiang Yu. Clearly, he was worried about her doing something to it. He couldn't trust her. As a result, their agreement was complete. If they didn't find the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy, Zhao Qinglong and the mercenary leader would share one spirit king pill. With this matter settled, they came to a mutual understanding. As long as there was no risk to their lives, the four of them would lead the way for Long Chen and the others. The four of them were delighted to have obtained these two spirit king pills. However, they couldn't consume them now. If they were lucky and found the ruins, then they would each obtain a complete spirit king pill. A complete spirit king pill gave them a 100% chance of advancing to the spirit tier. 
So, unless they reached the point where there was no more hope, they wouldn't be splitting these two pills. However, they were unaware that these two pills had been personally refined by Long Chen. He had intentionally made them appear old just to dupe them. Originally, the main ingredient of the Spirit King pill was the Hundred Spirit Tree Peony Stamen. This was a plant that bloomed only once every 1,000 years. Moreover, only the smallest part of its stamen could be used. Adding on the high difficulty and failure rate of refining the Spirit King pill, this pill was a priceless commodity that rarely appeared on the public market. Long Chen didn't have the hundred spirit tree peony, but he had the wood foundation divine trees, which were also spiritual objects of heaven and earth. By extracting its essence and merging it with the divine whisker daffodil, he added completely different secondary ingredients to refine the spirit king pill. Although he had failed an unknown number of times, he had limitless ingredients, so he didn't mind the failures. For him to have really refined the Spirit King pill with his own unique formula, everything had been worth it. His original plan had simply been to sell them for money. After all, when the Dragon Blood Legion was gathered once more, he would need money to raise them. It was unacceptable for him to not have any money. Right now, amongst all the medicinal pills that he had, the Spirit King pill was the most valuable. Since the supply didn't meet the demand, he had made it his goal. However, he hadn't expected that as soon as he finished experimenting with the new formula, he would be able to use it. A few Spirit King pills were enough to make several immortal kings help him, so it was definitely worth it. In order to be safe, they discussed it and chose the Iron Blood Mercenary Group's leader to be the main leader. That was because he had been in this domain the longest. He had more understanding of that region than the others. At the same time, they also brought their most capable subordinates. Gao King Long's right-hand man had been killed, so he could only bring a half-step immortal king as his attendant. They discussed the plan and then decided to rest for a single night. The next day, Bai Shishi had fully recovered, and they went on their way. Now the loon comp it went without saying that as the local tyrants, these experts were well aware of the terrain in the nearby land. However, even the likes of them traveled carefully. They avoided the territories of quite a few powerful devil beasts. The devil beasts that they could beat in this domain had essentially been killed, and since the remaining devil beasts in this region couldn't be beaten, they went far around them. There were some places where they could fly and some where they had to stealthily sneak through. Due to there being no transportation formations, they needed to be careful, and it took them three days to reach the area that they mentioned. Long Chen clearly sensed a strange aura in this place, and Jiang Yu and the others' expressions gradually grew more and more serious. We're entering the dangerous area. Other than terrifying devil beasts, there are also tree demons that can suddenly strike and take your life without any warning. Let me just say this, if we end up disturbing something terrifying and our lives are in danger, I am going to run immediately. Don't tell others that I was lacking morals afterward, said the mercenary leader. Morals? Long Chen laughed. This laugh made the mercenary leader's face blush. This was the vile dragon domain a place with slaughter and blood everywhere. Where was there such a thing as morals? Don't worry, if there's danger, I won't need you. You just need to lead the way, said Long Chen indifferently. Although these experts didn't know where the ruins were exactly, they knew the general location. This region was too big for Long Chen to search for it without them. The mercenary leader then nodded, and they continued onwards, with their weapons in hand. They maintained the highest level of alert as they moved forward. The jungle grew denser the further they went, and the light in this region also faded. Previously, they had been able to hear birdsong and insects chirping. However, in this region, all sounds faded. It was a frightening silence. 
Zhao King Long and the others might be immortal kings that normally killed people without batting an eye, but at this time they were all tense. Even their palms were sweaty. It had to be known that this was a well-known danger zone. One slip up could be fatal. The mercenary leader continued to lead the way. He was holding a special compass and constantly checking their position. In such a tense environment, even their sense of direction was being muddled. There seemed to be some mysterious energy here that suppressed people's divine sense. Wait a moment. Long Chen suddenly called out. Everyone paused and looked at him. Long Chen took out a bow. With a twang of the string, a ray of light shot out. After that, in the distance, blood splashed. A strange monster that looked to be a cross between a human and a monkey with a pair of wings on its back was killed by Long Chen's arrow. Everyone approached it and took a look. This monster had scales that looked like tree bark, and it had been hiding behind a large tree. Even so, they had been unable to sense it at all. They didn't know how Long Chen had managed to notice it. Ghost Wailing Ape The mercenary leader's expression changed as he recognized this life form. It was not a life form of the immortal world. There was no record of them. Instead, it was the vile dragon domain's experts that had given a name to the strange life form. They weren't actually that powerful. Instead, it was their ghost whale that was terrifying. It was able to befuddle a person's mind, and even divine lords would be severely affected. It was said that the ghost wailing apes liked to eat people's heads. Once they befuddled people's minds, their sharp teeth would split open their heads and directly suck out their brains. It was an extremely vicious style of killing. Furthermore, they specialized in concealing themselves. The mercenary leader and the others had not noticed this one at all. Furthermore, with it being behind the tree, it wasn't even in their line of sight. There are still three more. Long Chen shot three more wooden arrows. In the distance, three light sounds rang out. They looked over to see three more ghost wailing apes with arrows through their heads. All right, the threat's been handled. Let's continue. Long Chen put away his bow. Right now, the mercenary leader and the others stared at him in shock. Long Chen's ephemeral archery arts shook their hearts. This calm youngster was truly terrifying. They continued advancing in the jungle for several hours. Just as they went past a large tree, countless vines on top of the tree silently fell toward them. Chapter 3285 Vile Dragon Valley Everyone jumped in shock. Those vines were like pythons with barbs that looked like teeth covering them. Seeing this, the mercenary leader stabbed his spear into a distant tree, and a blood-like liquid flowed out of it. In an instant, those sinister vines went limp. Unexpectedly, these vines were connected to that distant tree. At this moment, Long Chen had also aimed his arrow at that tree but his speed was a bit slower than the mercenary leader. The mercenary leader then turned to Long Chen. You really are a monster. You actually saw through its disguise. The reason the mercenary leader was able to find its true body was due to his experience dealing with them. But Long Chen had never seen such an existence before, yet he had instantly found the true body. His perception was frighteningly sharp. Long Chen smiled slightly and they continued onwards. The further they went, the more wary they grew. The mercenary leaders said that many of the life forms here were unknown. They were very likely not from the immortal world. Some of them possessed bizarre abilities. One mistake and even an immortal king would die here. These life forms weren't valuable either, and so they never came here to risk the danger. Long Chen investigated some of these life forms that attacked them. Their life energy was very ordinary. When he tossed them into the primal chaos space's black soil, there was no special reaction. They had no cores or needants. There truly wasn't anything valuable about them. 
Up ahead is the Vile Dragon Valley. The Vile Dragon Domain is named after it. We have to pass through the valley to reach the location you wish to go, said the mercenary leader. He carefully took out some light green juice and distributed it to everyone. They then rubbed this juice on their bodies. It made their auras merge with the aura of this place. As long as they didn't reveal any killing intent, it would be much more difficult for others to sense them. They all sealed their pores and put on camouflage before they continued onwards. The jungle gradually grew sparse, and their field of view grew clear. Ahead of them was a giant gorge. At this moment, they came to a stop behind a boulder and looked into that abyss. Then, even someone like Long Chen felt a chill. This valley was like a heavenly chasm in their way, and they were unable to see the end. Within the mountain valley, they saw two winged dragons circling in the air. Further in the distance, they saw what appeared to be a mountain slowly moving. However, when they looked more closely, they found that it was no mountain, but a gigantic dragon. It was changing locations to nap. Suddenly, the boulder in front of them shuddered. As a result, they jumped in shock and hastily looked down. A giant dragon was rubbing its back against the cliff wall, causing the ground beneath their feet to crack. All these dragons are probably on the level of immortal kings. Why can't I sense their auras at all? asked Zhu Zixing in shock. Legend is that there are countless vile dragons here. Their numbers might surpass the billions. Before they attack, you can't sense them. But once they do attack, it causes chaos within all of Vile Dragon Valley. Thus, coming here is no different than courting death, said the mercenary leader gravely. Looking at those giant figures, he was terrified. The terrain here is special. They are kneeling on the ground and absorbing some kind of energy from the earth to cultivate. If my guess is correct, they won't leave this valley. Once they leave, their power will leak into the outside world in large quantities. It seems that they possess a special energy, and while they are not in a combat state, they can reduce their energy usage to the point where we can't sense their auras, said Long Chen as he eyed those giant dragons that seemed to be in hibernation. Most of these dragons were earthen dragons. They were considered the lowest level of the dragon race, and they didn't possess high intelligence. However, they saw thousands of these dragons present. If they disturbed all of them, it would be difficult for any of them to survive. Let's go. This time, Long Chen led the way, and a line of people fearfully walked into the valley. Since their bodies were very small and they could conceal their auras, they were more scared than actually in danger. Navalun, Kamsigu, Jirati, Shunya, M, however, while everyone else's nerves were stretched, taut, Long Chen was strangely calm. Everyone else's hair was standing on end. Sometimes, a dragon would fly through the air, and they would hastily dodge. Once they were safe, they continued onwards. Those flying dragons would only fly for a while. Some of their dragon might would be unleashed at that time, but then they would find a suitable place for them to rest. After that, their auras would fade, and they entered a hibernation state. After observing this occur multiple times, everyone came to the same conclusion as Long Chen. They had to be absorbing some kind of strange energy from the ground to cultivate. After stopping at one place for a long time, perhaps they had absorbed most of the energy, and so they switched locations. There were countless giant dragons here, but they seemed to be coexisting very peacefully. There was no fighting. It was strange. But just as they were advancing, Bai Ziol cried out, making everyone jump. Shouting in this place was no different than courting death. Fortunately, his shout didn't draw the attention of those dragons, so they calmed down. However, the mercenary leader and the others had the urge to kill Bai Ziol. This brat was practically on the same level as a pig. Bai Ziol also knew that he had made a mistake, and he pointed in a certain direction. 
Looking over there, their hearts also shook. There were four eggs as big as hills. They had stone patterns on the shells, and if it was just one egg, they really might have mistaken them for boulders. Now that they looked at them closely, they sensed the fluctuations of life coming from within. It seemed that they would hatch soon. It was no wonder by Zyol would cry out. They didn't know what kind of dragon these eggs were, but if it was one of these giant earthen dragons, then their young would be the easiest to tame. If a person could have an immortal king dragon as a steed, just how amazing would that be? The most alluring thing was that those four eggs were just sitting there. There were no guards. It seemed that the dragons here were very harmonious and didn't fight each other. Just as Long Chen and the others were preparing to sneak their way over to the eggs, an enormous figure flew over their heads. They hastily hid once more. A dragon had actually chosen to rest near one of those four eggs. It was just a few miles away. Seeing that, Bai Zyol almost wanted to curse. In this enormous space, this dragon just had to choose that spot. There was nowhere for them to hide if they tried to sneak over. That area was too wide open. Give up. We can consider it later, said Long Chen helplessly. He also wanted the eggs, but the current situation did not permit it. The others were all too enticed by those eggs, though. Dragon eggs were priceless treasures. Long Chen, I feel like we need to discuss the terms again, said the mercenary leader after a moment's hesitation. Chapter 3286 Terrifying Black Dragon Long Chen didn't even look back. There's no need. The mercenary leader's expression changed. But before he could say anything, Long Chen continued, All the things here are masterless items. They'll belong to whoever can grab them. I already know the general direction. If you feel that the treasures in front of you are very alluring, you can stop here. You've gotten half the reward already. You can choose to look for treasures here or choose to continue with us. Just who was Long Chen? Just looking at his gaze, he knew what the mercenary leader wanted. Obviously, if Long Chen had managed to obtain the dragon eggs just now, the mercenary leader would have been dissatisfied. Hence, he wanted to discuss terms on how any future treasures that they stumbled upon would be split. Long Chen directly refused him. After being led here, he already knew the general direction of the Seventh Branch Academy. Even the mercenary leader had never been there, so he only knew the general direction as well. Since that was the case, there was no need for Long Chen to quibble with him over such small matters. If he hadn't been worried about not being able to find the ruins, he wouldn't have even bothered working together with them. Hearing that, the four of them were actually quite moved. Long Chen was quite generous. Just leading him here could count as accomplishing half their mission. If they were to regain their freedom and leave, then those two spirit king pills would have entered their pockets quite easily. However, they were also a bit unwilling to leave just like this. They all saw that Long Chen was an unfathomable existence. Following him should be the safest option. Furthermore, Long Chen had also said that whoever could grab the treasures in this domain would get to keep them. That reassured them. Thus, with Long Chen still pressing onwards, they chose to obediently follow behind him. After two hours, they saw more and more giant dragons resting. They had no choice but to be cautious and go around them, trying to maintain a safe distance from all of them. This valley was truly enormous. Three days of travel resulted in them still being stuck midway, so Long Chen was getting a bit impatient. There were dragons everywhere, so they didn't dare to go any faster. But in these three days, they had all made some gains. Jiang Yu had stolen a dragon egg, and the vice leader of the Iron Blood mercenary group had obtained a dragon corpse at the Immortal King level. The others had also gotten something. Moreover, the aura here was special. There were some rare spiritual medicines and even some strange ores in this area. 
by Shishi had snatched a fist-sized chunk of golden rock which contained wild metal energy. It was quite useful to her. However, the most monstrous one was by Zyol. Using his spatial arts, he had managed to snatch six dragon eggs so far. The vile dragon domain's experts were all envious. Without Long Chen here, they would probably have tried to kill him for those eggs. However, right now they could only be envious and didn't dare to express their greed. After Jiang Yu obtained a dragon egg, her mood improved. She seemed to relax a bit and actually began to chat with Bai Shishi. But her words often contained traps, as she tested Bai Shishi's bottom line. She could see that despite possessing immense power, Bai Shishi didn't have enough experience in the outside world. Regretfully, Bai Shishi ignored her. As for Bai Xiaol and Qin Feng and the others, they weren't speaking either. Since she also didn't dare to chat with Long Chen, in the end she shut her mouth. We can't continue like this. This is too slow and we can't waste this much time. Xiaol, I'll help you catch a winged dragon. We're flying, said Long Chen. Although this was more dangerous than what they were doing as they didn't have a full understanding of this place, continuing like this was no solution. All right. Bai Xiaol instantly got excited. Long Chen eyed a dragon lying on the ground with its wings spread around it. Once they were a certain distance away, Long Chen formed hand seals, and an invisible surge of energy struck the dragon's head. This was a spiritual attack. However, Long Chen was not a soul cultivator, so he could only use the simplest attacks. The moment Long Chen unleashed his spiritual strength, Jiang Yu and the others felt their heads buzz. Their minds instantly grew muddled, and they were shocked. Long Chen's attack was concentrated on that dragon, but just some waves from it were enough to affect them. If he was directly attacking them, then he would have countless opportunities to kill them. This was their first time seeing Long Chen do something like this. They were truly shaken. Just then, the dragon's body quivered. Bai Xiaol formed hand seals, and when the dragon opened its eyes, the mark of the three flower pupils was present. The moment that the dragon's soul was struck, Bai Xiaol took control over it. The dragon suddenly stood up and opened its mouth at them, seemingly about to eat them. Seeing this, Jiang Yu and the others turned pale. But just as they prepared to fight back, they heard Long Chen scold someone. Don't mess around. The dragon's mouth stopped in the air in front of everyone. Only then did Jiang Yu and the others realize that Bai Xiaol was actually teasing them. They were furious because they really had been terrified just now. They weren't afraid of a single dragon, but they were afraid of disturbing all the other nearby dragons. Bai Xiaol smiled naughtily, clearly pleased after scaring them. He truly was a child, one who didn't realize that when people scared others, some of them could be scared to death. Long Chen took out a flying boat. They set foot into the flying boat, and the flying boat was placed inside the dragon's mouth. After that, the dragon spread its wings and flew off. With Bai Xiaol controlling the dragon, their speed instantly soared. In just two hours, they seemed to see the end of the valley. Watch out! Long Chen suddenly shouted when a giant mouth suddenly bit down. Black teeth then bit through their dragon, and blood rained down. Long Chen had only seen a giant black head appear for an instant before its mouth clamped down. It was another dragon as black as ink. Moreover, it was over ten times bigger than the dragon Bai Xiaol was controlling. It's a devil dragon. Long Chen's expression changed. This black dragon's aura was completely different from the other dragons that they had encountered here. It had the aura of the devil race on it, and it was a bit similar to evil dragons. But it was also different from the devil race's aura. The aura of this devil dragon was unique. Previously, 
when Long Chen chatted with Dragonbone Evil Moon, he had learned some of the history and knowledge of the dragon race. But in the Academy's texts, he had come to learn that the devil dragons were existences of the devil world. Why would they appear here in the immortal world? Don't move. Long Chen saw Jiang Yu and the others preparing to attack and immediately shouted at them. He then flew out with his bone saber in hand. After Long Chen cut off their dragon's head, it fell from the rest of the body. Just at this moment, the black dragon devoured their dragon's body in just a few gulps. Ignoring the falling head, it turned toward other resting dragons in the surroundings. Long Chen and the others took advantage of this to flee from the dragon head. They hid, staring at that black dragon in shock. Chapter 3287 The Lost Ruins The giant black dragon spread its wings and bared its neck. At this moment, Devil Kai rose out of its entire body, turning the air black. That sinister aura made their hair stand on end. Just like that, the giant dragons kneeling on the ground didn't even dare to resist. They just quivered there on the ground. Even as the black dragon consumed them one by one, they didn't even make a sound. This is a bloodline suppression just like those netherworld beasts summoned in the Chu family. Long Chen's heart shook. This black dragon gave him a sense of mortal danger, and a sour feeling appeared in his bone. This black dragon was definitely terrifying. As for Jiang Yu and the others, they were all pale with terror. They were quivering as they had never seen such a life form. That black dragon then devoured over ten dragons before it finally stopped. Its stomach was clearly bulging. With a roar that shook all of vile dragon valley, it spread its wings and flew into the depths of the valley. The direction it was going was precisely where the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy were. Jiang Yu and the others' expressions all grew ugly. If you're afraid, you can leave, said Long Chen. Return. How? Oh. Just now, while they were being flown by the dragon, they saw the region below. These dragons were packed in this area. There was no path to go around them. If they returned and startled a single one of those dragons, they would instantly become dragon dung. Since we've come here, we might as well persevere until the end. I don't like giving up midway, said Zhao Qinglong lightly. Although his expression was calm, the soft hair standing on end on his neck clearly told everyone that he was just saying big words. They had set foot on this ship, and could no longer retreat. So, their only choice was to follow Long Chin. That way, they would have a slightly higher chance of survival. This time, they all felt some regret about coming. If they had known that this would happen, they would have retreated earlier. Now they could no longer run. It really was a case of dying for greed. When people saw the possible profit right in front of them, they easily lost their rationality. After that black dragon left, vile dragon valley returned to its previous state. The dragons here continued to patiently cultivate as if nothing had happened. Long Chen, something seems off, transmitted by Shishi. This seems to be a pasture, but who knows who the master of this pasture is. Long Chen also saw that something was wrong. The dragons here couldn't leave this valley, but that devil dragon came to hunt them and then left after finishing its hunt. It didn't slaughter all the other dragons. Do you guess that the devil dragon has something to do with the Seventh Branch Academy? Asked by Shishi. No need to guess. They are definitely connected. I knew that the Academy wouldn't give me an easy mission, sighed Long Chen although he had known that this matter would not be easy to handle. Based on the current state, it was even more difficult than he had expected. Unfortunately, he had taken the seal, and the name of the Seventh Branch Academy's dean was already hung over his head. Hence, no matter what, he had to try and carry out this mission. Long Chen had by Xiao capture another dragon, and they continued flying in its mouth. When they finally reached the end of Vile Dragon Valley, 
the dragon refused to fly further. It was as if it would die if it left this region. With no other choice, they continued on foot. After leaving vile Dragon Valley, they saw a dense forest in front of them. But this forest felt even more sinister. The vegetation here was all black, and it seemed to suck up all the light of the world. The sunlight from above seemed to vanish when it reached here. Every one, take note not to make any sounds here, ordered Long Chen. When they entered this dark jungle, all their expressions changed. This forest actually suppressed their perception to the lowest possible level. It was like they had suddenly turned blind. As they passed through this dark forest, they didn't encounter any attack. But the air of decay in the air grew stronger until it was almost unendurable. It felt like every breath of air here was shortening their lifespan. Moreover, the feeling of not being able to sense their surroundings made them feel like they would crumble. However, they also didn't dare to stop here, nor did they dare to look back. They could only follow Long Chen forward. Now, all of the vile dragon domain's experts felt regret. They had no idea how far they had gone. Their senses were suppressed and everything was black around them. Losing your sense of perception was the most terrifying thing. Fortunately, Long Chen wasn't afraid of these things. His senses weren't suppressed. Although his sense of direction was also lost here, his sense of danger was as sharp as ever. He knew that the place with the most danger was definitely where the Seventh Branch Academy was. Zhu Zixin began to sweat, his breathing labored. The others were also starting to have trouble. Seeing this, Long Chen distributed medicinal pills and said, this place is infected by the aura of the devil world. Eat these medicinal pills. They'll help you resist the devil Kai and increase your perception. Jiang Yu and the others received the pills. Seeing Zhu Zixing and the others immediately consume the pills, each of them also consumed one. They immediately felt relief after consuming those pills. Their suppressed senses also recovered a bit, giving them slightly more confidence. They then continued onwards, and quickly found that the path in front of them was cut off. That was because they were staring at an abyss. It was a bottomless abyss so big that they couldn't see the other side. According to the ancient era's map, this should be where the High Firmament Academy's seventh branch was, said the Iron Blood Mercenary Group's leader. He then took out a bone sheet with a mac carved into it and offered it to Long Chen. Navalun Kam Long Chen didn't receive it. Instead, he took out two wooden cases and handed them to him. The mercenary leader was delighted by this. Opening the cases as expected, there were two spirit king pills. Seeing this sincerity, they were all celebratory. The four of them now had a spirit king pill each. In a few centuries, they could advance to the spirit tier. Actually, there was no need for the mercenary leader to give him the reminder. Long Chen also knew that this was the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy. Well, while he called them ruins, there was actually nothing here. There was simply an abyss. In the distance, there was a giant crack in the air. Devil Kai was gushing out of that crack, flooding into this world. It was as if they could see the devil world through that crack. They could even hear strange voices from the other side. As gusts of chilling wind blew, the aura of decay filled the air. Even immortal kings couldn't stop shaking. This place seemed to be the entrance to hell. Long Chen then squatted down and touched the ground. There was a trace of blood there. That black dragon should have come from this place. There's blood here and its aura is still lingering in the air. We're going down to take a look. When Long Chen said this, Jiang Yu and the others turned green. Favorite. Chapter 3288 The Skeleton at the Bottom of the Abyss If you're afraid, you can stay here and wait for us. If we don't climb back up, you'll need to find your own way back, said Long Chen. He then took out his bone saber. 
go back on their own, that dense forests suppressed their senses. Without Long Chen, it was unknown whether or not they could move in the right direction, let alone pass through the terrifying vile dragon valley. Let's go together. The more people we have, the higher chances of our survival, said Jiang Yu. She also had no other method to deal with this, so they could only follow behind Long Chen. From the start, Long Chen had maintained an absolute calmness. It was the only thing that gave her the slightest sense of safety. With his bone saber in hand, Long Chen continued onwards. Tai Yu and the others also clenched their weapons and followed, slowly descending the abyss. The edge of the abyss was occasionally a steep cliff and sometimes a sharp slope. In order to not make any sound, all of them descended very slowly. When they were already a hundred miles in, Long Chen saw an orchid. Its leaves were like swords, and they had black spots on them. The flower itself was as white as jade. Seven Star Sword Orchid. Long Chen was shocked. This was a very rarely seen spiritual medicine. Legend was that it grew at the intersection between the immortal world and the devil world. The confluence of both worlds was required. The leaves were toxic, while the flower was a sacred medicine for curing poisons. The toxicity of the leaves was said to be so great that it could kill even immortal kings. Long Chen carefully plucked it and then took out a piece of flesh. This was a piece of flesh from the head of their dragon that had been killed by the black dragon. He had put it away, and since he hadn't had a chance to look for a core, he hadn't tossed it into the black soil yet. He stabbed the leaf of the orchid into the flesh, and a black spot instantly appeared on it. The spot quickly spread, and the entire piece of flesh turned black. In just a few breaths, it rotted. Seeing this, Jiang Yu and the others became covered in cold sweat. They hadn't expected this tiny thing to be so toxic. Even the flesh of a dragon could be rotted so quickly. If a person was struck, just how fast would they die? They didn't recognize this seven-star sword orchid. If they had casually brushed by it, they would have lost their lives. As expected, it matches the records in the academy. It's good. Long Chen smiled. The leaves were toxic but the flower was a precious medicine that could be used in 10,000 different formulas. It could take the spot of many herbs of similar nature. Its value far surpassed the divine whisker daffodil. He then sent it into the primal chaos space's medicinal field. As expected, the primal chaos space's amazing abilities didn't let him down. The seven-star sword orchid thrummed with vitality, and it was growing even better than before. Moreover, there was no need for him to transplant it. It would eventually bear seeds. Hundreds of seeds would then spread in the breeze, allowing it to propagate. However, it was very picky over its environment, so those seeds might lie dormant for thousands or tens of thousands of years before germinating. If they were to look through the surroundings, they would definitely be able to find some of its seeds. But Long Chen didn't need them. Just a single seven-star sword orchid was enough for him. They continued onwards. They didn't know how much time had passed, but when Long Chen judged them to have reached a depth of almost 3,000 miles, they finally saw the bottom. What Long Chen hadn't expected was to find a swamp at the bottom and the water of the swamp was as black as ink. Long Chen then squatted down at the side of the water. He reached out his hand and touched the water. But then his expression changed slightly. This isn't water. It's blood. Long Chen sliced off his finger with his bone saber. But by Shi Shi was shocked. The blood has a curse in it. It would be best if you all avoid it, said Long Chen gravely. Could it be that the legends are true and that there is an ancient corpse buried here? Asked the mercenary leader with a shocked expression. The legends could not be trusted. But the cursed blood here made him think of that legend. 
We'll know if we take a look. Be careful. Don't fall into the water, or who knows what will happen, warned Long Chen. He started walking onwards. There were some nameless water plants in this swamp, and they were black as well. Everything here looked similar to the desolate era's legends of hell. As for Long Chen, he had gone to the actual hell, so he didn't find this to be so frightening. However, others were different. Long Chen was walking when he suddenly felt his upper arm tighten. Bai Shishi was grabbing him. In this environment, Bai Shishi was growing more and more afraid. She couldn't help grabbing Long Chen, and she didn't even mind Long Chen's teasing smile. Long Chen nodded with an encouraging expression in his eyes. Although he didn't say anything, his meaning was clear, there was no need to fear. He was here. This was Bai Shishi's first time feeling Long Chen's warm side, and it was in this kind of situation. It was like his smile was full of sunlight in this dark world. Don't pull me, Qin Feng angrily whispered. Bai Zhao was also afraid and involuntarily grabbed Qin Feng. What are two men going to hold hands for? If you have to grab me, grab my shoulder. Even at this time, when all their nerves were tense, hearing that almost made Bai Shishi laugh. When she looked over, she saw that Qin Feng and Kai Yu, these two dragon blood warriors, were still able to maintain their calm in this kind of situation. They didn't show too much fear, so she was filled with admiration toward that courage. On the other hand, it was Jiang Yu and the others who were putting up a brave front, but they were unable to trick anyone. The fear in their eyes was clear. As for their subordinates, they were even worse off. They couldn't stop themselves from shaking. If a battle started, they wouldn't be able to even unleash half of their power. They continued onwards. When a mountain appeared in front of them, they climbed up. After that, glossy rocks appeared. At the top of the mountain, Long Chen suddenly squatted down and lightly cut the ground with his bone saber. As a result, the rock on the surface was stripped away, revealing a white stone. This is. When everyone saw that white stone, all their hearts clenched. They stared in shock. It's bone. The mercenary leader's voice quivered. That white thing was still emitting very faint fluctuations. It was truly bone. As for the rocks that they had climbed up, they were the condensation of countless years of dust. They had been climbing up this bone for half a day. If this really was that ancient desolate corpse, just how big was the full body? Just thinking about it gave them chills. Favorite Chapter 3289 Devil Dragon Nest Long Chen used his bone, Saber's hilt, to strike the ground and managed to pound a small hole into the bone. After that, some kind of white powder appeared. No matter how powerful the life form, they can't stop the encroachment of time. The strongest law of this world is time, Long Chen sighed. Through this test, he confirmed that this truly was a giant bone. But so much time had passed that it had eroded. It didn't possess any energy any longer. Originally, he had been planning on bringing it into the primal chaos space. If that legendary corpse still had energy in it, then perhaps that energy would be enough to make the Wood Foundation divine trees start bearing fruit. If Jiang Yu and the others were to learn about what he had been thinking, they would definitely die of fright. Long Chen's guts truly were extraordinary. Long Chen was a bit disappointed that this bone had no energy left within it. So, that idea withered. He could tell that this bone was thousands of miles long but he didn't know what part of the body this giant bone was from. Long Chen then led them up the mountain, and they saw a straight mountain range. After a long time of climbing, with Long Chen memorizing the path, they suddenly came to a stop. Don't go any further, said Long Chen. What is it? asked Bai Shishi. This should be the soul of the creature. It's a bit similar to a human foot but there are four toes and a knot in the arch of the foot. 
I haven't seen any life form like this in the Academy's texts. Let's go back. I want to trace an outline of what this body is. They went back and walked on a different path. This mountainous land that they were climbing was the form of some giant skeleton. In this dark world, with Devil Kai hanging in the air, they were all weary. Their fatigue gradually built up. Long Chen, in particular, was using up more energy than the others because he was spreading his divine sense in this suppressive world. He also needed to rest. After consuming medicinal pills and resting a bit, they continued walking. They didn't know how much time had passed as they couldn't sense the flow of time here. They could only follow Long Chen and pray that they didn't encounter some terrifying monster. Long Chen brought them back and forth. They took breaks to recover before continuing time and time again. After a while, Long Chen took out a sheet and began to map their path. Very quickly, the form of a monster appeared on the map. It was some two-winged life form. Its arms reached past its knees, and it had over thirty ribs. Two of them were very short. Staring at this map, Long Chen was silent. Boss, why doesn't this monster have a head? Asked Bai Zio curiously. We still haven't gotten to the head. My guess is that the head is where the devil dragon's nest is. We're going there last, said Long Chen. The devil dragon's nest? Then let's not go. That's way too dangerous, said Jiang Yu. Junior brother, that devil dragon is absolutely terrifying. Why don't we just leave? Once we advance to the spirit tier, we'll help you. It won't take too long. At most, in a hundred years, we'll have advanced. A hundred years of seclusion passes in a flash. There's no need to keep risking this. She and everyone else from the vile dragon domain were afraid. However, they could only continue forward since they couldn't leave. That's right. I feel like we should come up with a plan first. After considering things carefully, we'll have a higher chance of success, said Zhao Qinglong. You want to reclaim the Seventh Branch Academy, but look at the current state. I don't mean to give you a blow, but perhaps... Even if the entire High Firmament Academy's full power came here, it wouldn't change anything. You should hurry and report the situation back to your Academy so that your seniors can come. Perhaps they'll know the origin of this corpse, advised the mercenary leader. That's true. It's not that we're afraid of death. After all, we've lived for so many years and we've experienced countless things. But you are different. A great future awaits you. It's not worth it to take this risk. Even the blood-drinking alliance's leader joined in. However, Long Chen ignored all of them and continued to stare at the map. No one knew what he was thinking. Long Chen, I also feel like getting this far is enough. They are being reasonable. If the head really is where the devil dragon's nest is, we shouldn't go there. We have gained a great deal of valuable information, but all that might get thrown away if we go there, said by Shishi. The Academy had no information on this area, and they had managed to gain a great deal of information for the Academy. The Academy definitely wouldn't blame them for leaving now. In fact, they would probably encourage Long Chen and the others to leave now. At this time, Long Chen put away the paper and smiled. There is a saying, when you listen to others' advice, you can have a full stomach. So, hearing that, everyone was delighted. So we're going to keep going. Long Chen's sudden turn almost made people faint. Long Chen, now isn't the time to joke, raged by Shishi. I really am not joking. If I don't take a look at the devil dragon's nest, I won't be able to rest in peace. Furthermore, I feel like the ruins of the Academy should be near there. How can you be willing to not take a look? Let's go. It wasn't as if I said that I wanted to slaughter a dragon, said Long Chen. People felt a bit better after hearing him say that, but not by much. Bai Zile suddenly said, What if you find a dragon egg? 
Then it must be grabbed, said Long Chen directly. Jiang Yu and the other's hair instantly stood on end. It was unknown how many times they had sworn in their hearts never to cooperate with Long Chen again if they ever got out of here alive. This fellow was crazy. In the dark, they continued following Long Chen. They were practically holding their breaths, afraid that the slightest disturbance would draw out some terrifying existence. The space ahead of them gradually grew brighter. When they stood at the top of a tall mountain, they were vaguely able to see some things scattered about. Boss S.H.H. Long Chen waved his hand, demanding silence. He had long since noticed that this place was the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy. He could see the wreckage of some human buildings and such. They continued onward and finally saw the monster's giant head. Its shape was a bit similar to a human head, but it had two spots for horns on its head. However, those horns were gone. It was unknown if they had been broken or if they had simply crumbled from the passing of time. There were two huge holes where its eyes should be. Long Chen and the others were stealthily creeping over to one of those holes when a dragon roar rang out. A black dragon then flew out of one of those holes. Chapter 3290 Devil I Water Lily That huge dragon flew out all too suddenly, making everyone jump. Don't move. Just as they were preparing to fight back, Long Chen stopped them. They knelt down, not moving. The black dragon simply soared into the air and vanished. Fortunately, the black dragon didn't notice them. It was most likely going back to the vile dragon valley to hunt. Everything returned to calm once it was gone. Their hearts settled. Just now, they had almost wet themselves in fear. Once everything was all right, Long Chen looked down the hole. This time, even he jumped in shock. There was a giant space inside. It was like a palace. This space was the giant, dead life form's skull cavity. Also, there was a giant crystal inside, which emitted a gentle light that illuminated this otherwise dark space. It's a devil core. Long Chen recognized this light. This devil core belonged to this life form. Although the devil energy inside it had long since vanished, its light had yet to extinguish. There were actually thousands of black dragons surrounding the devil crystal. Long Chen's guess that this was the black dragon's nest was correct. But he hadn't guessed that there would be so many black dragons here. There really are dragon eggs. Boss by Zyol's gaze instantly fell on over ten large dragon eggs placed together behind one of those dragons. These eggs were actually white. The moment Bai Zyol saw them, he grew excited. The dragons that they had encountered in Vile Dragon Valley might have reached the fifth tier, equivalent to the human race's immortal king realm, but then they should only be classified as mortal tier immortal kings. They didn't even have divine abilities. However, these black dragons were different. Just their dragon might was enough to suppress those vile dragons. Their tier was definitely far above the vile dragons. To use the human race's classifications, they had to be at the spirit tier or above. Bai Zio looked at Long Chen but found that Long Chen's eyes were shining. He was staring at a blood pool beside the devil crystal. There was a giant flower growing there. For the black blood pool to have given birth to a flower as white as jade, it was quite conspicuous. There were nine petals, and it was vaguely possible to see nine differently colored designs moving across the nine petals. The center of the flower looked like a single eye. Devil Eye Water Lily. Long Chen's heart pounded. He actually came across the Devil Eye Water Lily at a place like this. That was a terrifying existence on the same level as the Undying Willow. It was a life form of the Undying World, and it had actually appeared here. Nine petals, nine colors of reincarnation. Also, the Devil Eye has already formed. According to human standards, it has entered the Immortal King realm. We can't beat it. 
Only once Long Chen arrived in the immortal world did he learn just how terrifying the undying willow race was. As for this devil, I water lily, it was equally as famous as the undying willow race. If he were to compare it to Liu Ryan, then if Liu Ryan was a major realm above him, he would have almost no hope of victory against her. But if she was two major realms above him, then no matter what, he wouldn't challenge her. However, the devil I water lily in front of him was the main ingredient for refining the violet tower pill. He had to obtain it. Could it be likely Orion? It was sent here by someone to grow. Then this terrifying corpse's energy. Long Chen suddenly had a thought that made his heart go wild. If his guess was correct, then this devil, I water lily had been planted here just to absorb the energy of the ancient corpse. Either that, or it was one of the guards arranged for this place to prevent anyone from rebuilding the branch academy novelune. Come if it was the latter, then that would be a big problem. With the devil I water lily's terrifying might, it even possessed the power to fight a world king. Long Chen would definitely die in a fight against it. Long Chen wrestled with his greed. Fight. He definitely couldn't win. Don't fight. His disease would kill him. Once he reached the Divine Lord realm, he could condense the Violet Tower star. If he missed this chance, who knew when he would get another? Furthermore, it seemed that the corpse's nutrients had essentially been sucked dry. Who knew whether this lily would finish eating and then simply leave? He might never find it again. Boss, what do you think? Aren't there so many dragon eggs? Are we doing this or not? Asked by Zyle. He greatly desired those dragon eggs. Right now, he wasn't afraid of anything and was willing to risk his life for those dragon eggs. It seems a bit dangerous. Long Chen was truly conflicted. Didn't you say that dragon eggs were a must-have just before? Asked by Zyle unhappily. How could his boss eat his words now? Bai Shishi glared at Bai Zyle. This place was far too dangerous. One mistake, and they would be wiped out. They couldn't throw their lives away just for some treasures. What they didn't know was that Long Chen didn't even care about the dragon eggs any longer, nor did he even care about the threat of these black dragons. All his attention was on the devil I water lily. The atmosphere grew tense, and everyone was looking at Long Chen. Jiang Yu and the others practically had pleading expressions as they looked at Long Chen. As long as Long Chen agreed to leave, they would be willing to kowtow in thanks to him. They all hoped that he would stop. Even after living for so many years, none of them had ever gone through something as terrifying as they had on this journey. We have to. We'll risk it all. Long Chen made up his mind. Bai Zhao was delighted, while Jiang Yu and the others almost wept. Everyone, listen to my instructions. We must work together. Bai Shishi and I will target the water lily. When we disturb it, we'll definitely draw the attention of all the dragons. Bai Zhao, you take advantage of that chaos to steal the dragon eggs. After that, all of you will need to work together to subdue one of the black dragons, putting it under Bai Zyle's control as fast as possible. Then we'll run, said Long Chen. The water lily? Everyone was startled. Long Chen was actually targeting the water lily. They had all seen it, but they didn't notice anything special about it. After this, each of your four major powers will be given a black dragon egg. Of course, if you're unwilling, you can run now. You'll need to go fast to avoid being implicated when we make our move. Long Chen looked at the four leaders. The four of them had mournful expressions. Just how could they refuse? They had long since lost their sense of direction in this dark place. Without Long Chen leading the way, it was unknown whether or not they could even get out of this abyss. They were fully bound to Long Chen. As for the black dragon eggs, they might be even more precious than the spirit king pills. 
However, they didn't dare to even want one. They only wanted to leave alive. Once they returned to the Zheyaming ancient city alive, it would count as a win. Let's go. We'll enter through the mouth. With everyone working together, Long Chen led them sneaking toward the Devil Dragon's Nest. Favorite. Chapter 3291 Snatching the Seed Paw, they were like ants in a line sneaking their way into a gaping maw. Fortunately, those black dragons didn't notice them at all. They continued to slumber with their eyes closed. As they got closer to the black dragons, the dragon might shook their souls. They almost collapsed. Long Chan, what is it? Asked by Shishi when she saw Long Chen quivering. It's nothing. Long Chen said that he was fine. This was the result of the dragon might in the surroundings drawing out the pride of the dragon blood in his body. That was not something good. He had concealed his aura, but his dragon blood was being influenced. A true dragon was the ruler of the dragon race. To unleash dragon might in front of a true dragon was a provocation. Long Chen didn't dare to get too close to the dragons. Otherwise, once their dragon might reached a certain level, it would cause his dragon blood to unleash its own dragon might. He wouldn't be able to stop it. Once Long Chen unleashed that aura, those black dragons would definitely view him as the greatest delicacy and treasure. By devouring him, they could obtain true dragon essence blood. That was enough to drive them all crazy. Long Chen gave a signal to Bai Ziol and the others. That was the order for them to slip toward the dragon eggs and await the next signal. Bai Ziol nodded and led the way to the dragon eggs. As for Long Chen and Bai Shishi, they went around the dragons and toward the blood pool. Bai Ziol and the others were in position, hiding behind the dragon eggs. Meanwhile, Long Chen pulled Bai Shishi over a huge detour. They slowly got closer to the devil, I water lily. At this moment, Bai Shishi's body began to tremble, and a sensation of dizziness came over her. Long Chen suddenly blocked her vision with his hand. Only then did that feeling of dizziness fade. Don't look at its stamen. That is its eye, and it possesses a terrifying power. It can destroy a person's soul, transmitted Long Chen. Bai Shishi's heart quivered. This was her first time hearing the word terrifying from Long Chen's mouth. Long Chen and Bai Shishi slowly got closer. However, for some reason, the closer they got, the greater the distance seemed to grow. It was like space was being stretched. At this distance, Long Chen saw marks in the surroundings. They were like small streams pouring into the blood pool. Long Chen's heart shook. The vile dragons in the vile dragon valley were prey for the black dragons. But these black dragons seemed to be nutrients for the devil eye water lily. Just what was its origin? More and more, he felt that the devil eye water lily had not appeared here accidentally. Finally, the two of them reached the blood pool. They were no more than a few miles from the devil eye water lily. Long Chen had by Shishi close her eyes. Just like when I helped you grasp your runes, you must strike just as I tell you to. Don't think about it. Just directly attack with your sword. Use as much power as you can, but you won't have any time to store up any energy. Bai Shishi nodded. She was a bit nervous. She felt that Long Chen was about to do something exceedingly terrifying. She couldn't hesitate for even half a second. Long Chen then closed his eyes and adjusted his condition. After a moment, he suddenly took a deep breath and charged toward the devil I water lily like a bolt of lightning. The devil I water lily looked to only be thirty or so meters tall, but when he got close, he didn't know if it got bigger or if he was getting smaller, but the devil I water lily grew gigantic until its leaves covered the heavens. Long Chen slashed his bone saber at it. The bone saber's runes lit up, filling this space with light. As a result, those black dragons were startled and shot up. 
That was the signal for Bai Ziol and the others. Bai Ziol immediately activated his spatial energy, grabbing the dragon eggs. At the same time, Jiang Yu and the others attacked. Rays of divine light shot toward the closest black dragon's head. Boom! It went without saying that their cooperation was well done. The moment Long Chen struck the lily, they attacked the dragon. The dragon's scales were broken, and blood sprayed out. It was left dazed by their combined attacks. However, before Bai Ziol could subdue it, a terrifying ripple exploded from the devil eye water lily. Boom! With the lily at the center, the ripple rapidly spread, smashing into the black dragons. Even they were unable to resist and were sent flying. Likewise, Bai Ziol and the others were also sent flying. Fortunately, they were behind that black dragon. But even the weakened waves still left them feeling like their souls had almost been stripped from their bodies. Bai Ziol and the others were sent flying. But it was the black dragons that received the brunt of the ripple. So they smashed into the wall like shooting stars. That wall was actually the ancient corpse's skull, and the resulting impact caused the skull to collapse. Hence, Bai Ziol and the others hastily dodged and ran, not wanting to be buried. They were shocked by the power of that lily. When Long Chan had said that he and Bai Shishi would deal with the lily, they hadn't understood why. Now they did. That lily was actually the most terrifying existence in this place. Long Chen seemed to have expected this from the start. His divine ring raged behind him, and stars revolved in his eyes. He continued to press down on the lily with his bone saber. More ripples surged out of the lily. As a result, this world was destroyed. Decayed bone fragments flew through the air. Bai Ziol and the others were sent tumbling back along with the black dragons. They were blown far into the distance. Just at this moment, as Long Chen fought against the lily with his saber, the eye at the heart of the lily slowly began to shine. It was like an eye was opening. That was its devil eye that was said to possess terrifying power. When its eye opened, Long Chen felt a sharp pain in his soul as an insidious energy invaded it. Fortunately, Long Chen's divine gate opened in his mind sea, and the divine gate star shone. That invading energy was like snow falling on lava. It instantly vanished. Suddenly, Long Chen slashed with his saber. Black lightning appeared on top of it. The lily quivered, and its petals closed, seemingly afraid of Lei Ling's power. Attack! Long Chen shouted, and Bai Shishi unsheathed her sword slashing with her eyes closed. What Bai Shishi was slashing was not the lily, but a sea pod to the side. Just as the lily closed its petals, her sword slashed into the seed pod, severing it from its stalk. Let's go. Long Chen grabbed the seed pod and tossed it into the primal chaos space. After that, lightning wings appeared on his back, and he shot away, dragging along Bai Shishi. Long Chen had just fled when an explosion shook the land. At this moment, the blood pool vanished, and the devil, eye water lily, suddenly grew larger. A terrifying killing intent filled this space. Chapter 3292 Terrifying Devil, eye water lily, the devil, eye water lily, was enraged. Its body grew until it filled this entire space. At this moment, this dark world was illuminated by its divine light. Nothing could escape it. In that instant, Long Chen managed to see the terrain of this abyss. This place was a giant hole, and the skeleton's head was surrounded by ruins. Those were the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy. Long Chen was originally planning on running, but when he saw that, he had a change of heart. He pushed by Shishi away, while he shot off toward those ruins. He sent a message to Bai Shishi. Join with the others and capture a powerful black dragon. Otherwise, we'll all die here. What are you doing? Demanded Bai Shishi. I'm igniting the divine tower. 
Long Chen shot off without another word, vanishing from sight. Bai Shishi was pushed far into the distance. She instantly reached Bai Zio and the others. They were all covered in blood and in a wretched state. Just by unleashing its aura, the devil I water lily was able to turn them into this state. Not even the black devil dragons were able to endure it. As for the vice leaders of the iron blood mercenary group and the blood drinking alliance, they had directly died from the impact. Those two were half step immortal kings. But in front of this power, they were completely powerless to resist. The most terrifying thing was that they were now caught without a black dragon under their control. The one that they had attacked and been about to take over had been sent to who knows where. They couldn't find it without searching. So their entire plan was ruined. Where is boss? asked Qin Feng. Long Chen has his own matter to do. He wants us to capture a dragon and wait for him. Hurry, said Bai Shishi, just as worried about Long Chen. She looked up at the infuriated devil, I water lily, that covered the sky. Its killing intent was completely locked onto Long Chen. The ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy were beneath it, and Long Chen was actually thinking of accomplishing his mission at such a time. He was crazy. Before this, she had been very dissatisfied with Long Chen's attitude toward his mission. But now that he was risking his life just to accomplish it, she felt bad for wrongly accusing him. At this moment, she suddenly realized that she didn't know him at all. Boom! Just then, the rubble beneath their feet quivered. Bai Sayol cried out, There's one right beneath us. Capture it quickly. Just then, the rubble exploded and a giant figure flew out. As soon as it appeared, Golden chains also shot out from underground, binding it. This was by Shishi's metal energy. Thousands of chains bound the dragon, dragging it down just as it flew out. Attack! The mercenary leader roared. If they didn't go all out at this time, they really would be doomed. They had to capture one of these dragons to have any hope of escaping. They all attacked the dragon's head. It roared and struggled. Just then, another dragon flew out of the rubble. Their hearts sank. Even one dragon was hard enough to deal with. If another appeared, they would definitely die. Deal with this one. Leave that to me and Kai Yu. Kin Feng and Kai Yu exchanged a glance. They put away their weapons and took out bows in exchange. They then shot toward the new dragon. That dragon roared. It opened its mouth and black flames gushed toward the two of them. Kai Yu and Kin Feng split up. Kai Yu knocked an arrow and aimed it straight at the dragon's head. The arrow landed on its eyelid and merely caused some sparks. Not being able to penetrate its scales, it was useless. No good. We don't have any curving arrow skills, nor do we have boss's power. We can't strike it in its vitals, shouted Kai Yu. The dragon blood warriors were all close-range fighters. Although they could shoot arrows, they only knew the basics. The dragon blood warriors fought as a team, so they usually had specialized archers assisting them in the distance in the form of their allies. They usually had Guo ran for arrow attacks if they needed them, so Kai Yu and Kin Fang were both specialized for close-range combat. Prepare yourself. I'll create an opening for you. Kin Feng put away his bow and took out a saber. With a roar, his blood kai erupted and dragon scales covered his body. Waves of dragon might erupted, instantly capturing that black dragon's attention. Boot. Kin Feng's saber smashed into its body, and this attack contained all his power. But his saber image shattered on contact and Kin Feng coughed up blood from the impact. Cracks appeared all over his body. This black devil dragon's defensive powers were absolutely terrifying. Even after such an attack, it only staggered. Just then, an arrow shot into its eye. As a result, the dragon roared and that eye instantly withered. 
this arrow's arrowhead had the ghost ship's rust mixed into it it contained the terrifying power of time and even this black dragon was unable to resist it the rest of its head also withered in just a few breaths it was motionless having killed one of the dragons the two of them were delighted they then grabbed the dragon corpse and returned to Baishishi's side working together to subdue the dragon however when they returned they found that everyone from the vile dragon domain had died other than the four leaders just now that black dragon had unleashed the power of its dragon bloodline shattering by shishi's chains seeing that they had immediately fled only for those deputies to be slightly slower and killed by shishi once more summoned her golden chains and bound the dragon with kin feng and kai yu joining them they finally managed to daze it bai zio then suppressed its soul and took control after that bai shishi took out a flying boat they rushed on and had the dragon put them in its mouth bai zio then had the dragon wait here and pretend to be dead and wait for long chen's return however shockingly as the dragons came flying out of the rubble they began flying in the direction of the ruins that was where long chen was let's go take a look said bai shishi bai azio immediately sent the dragon flying toward there as well eh? after pushing bai shishi away long chen rushed toward the ruins but as soon as he reached them a ray of divine light descended from the heavens he hastily dodged oh, the earth was torn asunder by that ray of divine sword light looking up he saw a torrent of rays falling from the sky toward him every single ray gave him a sense of mortal danger any one of those attacks could kill him i went a bit too big this time long chen shivered and continued to rush through the ruins he was dancing on the edge of a death god's side every single ray of sword light possessed terrifying power so long chen dodged left and right as he searched through the ruins found it long chen's eyes suddenly brightened as he saw an ancient altar chapter three thousand two hundred ninety three crazy devil dragons the altar was badly damaged and there was only one small square of it remaining the high firmament academy's main cultivation paths could be split between god and immortal cultivations but they didn't have a singular deity that they worshipped hence the academy's altars were built to worship heaven and earth the meaning was that no matter how far a person went on their cultivation path they still needed to have gratitude and respect for heaven and earth that had given birth to them every century the high firmament academy would hold an offering ceremony for heaven and earth and each time it would be a huge affair however they didn't offer any tributes this was different from the altars of other sects for the high firmament academy this ceremony involved everyone within the academy from the dean to the most ordinary disciples to bow toward heaven and earth in thanks hence this altar made long chen feel emotional he knew that not far beneath it was the foundation of the seventh branch academy that was the first stone in the construction of the seventh branch and it was the most important part his mission was to set up the divine tower on that foundation just as long chen spotted it and felt various emotions a ray of sword light pierced his shoulder and penetrated his dragon scale armor instantly as a result his blood splashed and the sharp pain woke him up the attack actually contains spatial laws it can ignore all defenses upon sensing this sharp pain long chen's heart shook the devil i water lily was worthy of being a legendary existence if bai shishi hadn't cut off its seed pod then no one here would have been able to endure a single ripple from it the devil i water lily had two important parts to it one was the actual flower while the other was its seed pod the flower was its weapon but the seed pod was the source of its power it had been in a sleeping state and long chen had woken it up sensing a sudden threat 
it merged its energy into the flower, which resulted in the seed pod losing most of its defensive powers. That was the reason why Bai Shishi had managed to cut it off in one slash. Without the seed pod, it was like a person who had lost the power of their dachin. Without that source of power, it was now relying on its leaves to absorb the energy of heaven and earth for it to attack. Even then, it still possessed such terrifying power. Since his shoulder was injured, Long Chen paid more attention to the torrent of attacks. Just then, endless roars started ringing out, and countless black dragons charged toward Long Chen. They seemed to have gone insane, ignoring the attacks of the devil eye-water lotus just to charge at him. Moreover, their eyes were as red as blood, like the eyes of hungry wolves that had spotted meat. You want to devour me? Long Chen snorted. Ignoring those dragons, he continued searching for the foundation stone. However, the torrent of attacks followed him wherever he went, and the ground was exploding. Suddenly, he heard some strange sounds when the sword light struck something underground. It was as if they had struck something hard. Found it. Long Chen was delighted. Looking down at one of the holes that appeared because of the attacks, he saw a flat stone that was covered in ancient marks. Even these sharp attacks were unable to harm it. This is the foundation stone. Its karmic luck is connected to the headquarters of the High Firmament Academy. It naturally cannot be destroyed. Long Chen then took out a jade talisman and tossed it into the hole. As a result, the talisman instantly transformed into dust when it touched the foundation stone, and the dust merged into the stone. Just as Long Chen was preparing to throw another jade talisman inside, astral winds blew behind him. A giant mouth then swallowed him along with the earth. Boom. Long Chen had no other choice but to take out his saber. The next moment, saber light exploded, cutting through that mouth. That dragon fell with a huge hole in its head. Long Chen came flying out of it. But at this moment, another devil dragon reached him. Its heaven-shrouding wings smashed toward Long Chen, and the whistling astral winds tore at the void. In the dragon blood battle armor state, Long Chen's dragon blood was activated. Hence, these devil dragons were driven crazy by it. If they devoured Long Chen, they would undergo a complete transformation. His blood posed a fatal attraction to them. When Long Chen looked up, he could see that the sky was filled with devil dragons. Also, the rain of sword light continued, and even these black dragons were pierced. But they continued to charge at him crazily, ignoring the damage to themselves. At this moment, lightning wings appeared on his back. He was like a bolt of lightning dodging left and right, avoiding the torrent of sword light and the black dragons at the same time. He wanted to reach the foundation stone, as there were many steps that he had yet to complete. But the whistling astral winds and the terrifying rays of sword light gradually forced him further and further back from his target. Long Chen was enraged. If this continued, he would fail at the final juncture. But there was nothing he could do. These devil dragons were crazy. Quite a few of them were riddled with countless holes by the Devil Eye Water Lily, but they were still charging at him. The Devil Eye Water Lily wanted to kill him, and these devil dragons wanted to consume him. So neither side bothered with the other as they weren't cooperating. As a result, a large number of devil dragons were slain by the Devil Eye Water Lily. In the chaos, Long Chen also managed to reach out and toss a few devil dragon corpses into the primal chaos space. Kill, kill, kill them all. This is a good chance. Even though Long Chen was caught in great danger as he was facing attacks from the devil eye water lily and the devil dragons, he didn't forget to profit. The torrent of attacks had also caused him to be struck by the sword lights several times. Fortunately, 
the devil dragons were so huge that most of those attacks had to pierce through their bodies first before striking him so most of their energy was used up before they reached him at least the wounds weren't so bad however long chen's body was still left bloody from all the attacks the devil i water lily's terrifying power had surpassed his expectations luckily the wood foundation divine trees were providing him with almost limitless life energy his wounds were quickly healing and it didn't even seem to affect the wood foundation divine trees even his consecutive injuries only resulted in the tiniest fraction of their life energy being used up so long chen wasn't panicking as long as he wasn't struck by a major attack from the black dragons he should be fine the black dragons had gone insane crazily attacking and biting in fact some of them even killed each other in the chaos as a result long chen could weave through their midst for now he was safe long chen quickly gathered over a hundred corpses in just an incense sticks worth of time the majority of them were killed by the devil i water lily with only a few killed by each other as for the black dragon controlled by bai Ziol, it was hiding in the distance pretending to be dead as they watched this crazy scene in front of them their faces were pale with terror all of them had joined forces just to handle one black dragon and it had still cost them some lives but long chen was being chased by over a thousand black dragons with that terrifying lily also attacking this was surely the end for him let's go now long chen can't be saved if we don't leave now we'll all die said the leader of the blood drinking alliance his voice quivering shut up you don't know how strong boss is since boss dares to come here he naturally has the ability to return barked kin feng you the blood drinking alliance's leer was shocked and infuriated he clenched his weapon if you don't want to die then shut your mouth even if long chen isn't here we still have the power to kill the four of you do you want to try it by she she pressed her hand against her sword and stared at him coldly she could see that now that long chen was in danger these people wanted to rebel everyone we can still discuss things nicely fighting amongst ourselves right now is foolish urged jiang yu the blood drinking alliance's leader was truly a fool he wanted to seize power at this time how could that be possible ignoring whether or not they could beat by shishi and the others even if they did manage to kill these youngsters there would be no one to control the black dragon how would they leave this place alive then just then threads of divine light fell from the sky locking this space down it was like a cage trapping long chen and the black dragons when the cage appeared long chen's expression completely changed he couldn't bother with the foundation stone any longer and he rushed out favorite chapter three thousand two hundred ninety four devil eye the threads of light fell piercing the earth it then formed a heaven and earth encompassing cage seeing this scene long chen felt a sour feeling in his bones this cage definitely posed a fatal threat to him once he was trapped he would definitely die hence he could no longer bother with finishing his mission and fled as fast as he could on the other hand the cage was rapidly closing and the space within compressed even time seemed to freeze inside of it long chen knew that this cage was similar to the raging flame prison the smaller it shrunk the greater its power if he wanted to escape he had to break free just as it formed as a result his lightning wings flapped and he raised his speed to the pinnacle however the black dragons behind him didn't seem to sense the danger and continued to chase after him the threads of light closed just as he reached the edge of the cage but seeing this long chen raised his bone saber a sharp will then erupt it 
when divine light lit up on his sabre it formed a resonance with the sky split the heavens a giant sabre image soared shattering all laws it crashed down with a will to destroy heaven and earth Boom. the threads in front of him then broke and a hole appeared as a result fragments of space-time flew through the air it was as if the world had been destroyed in this area meanwhile long chen's face turned red and he coughed up blood because of that attack he received a heavy backlash and the majority of his spiritual yuan was instantly used up as expected split the heavens can hardly merge with the heavenly dows long chen felt bitter inside with liuo zichuan's guidance long chen had comprehended the essence of the saber dao and the principles of the heavenly dows seeing that he had comprehended both he wanted to recreate the nine forms of split the heavens this new split the heavens would be one that merged with the heavenly dows before striking however split the heavens possessed the will to split apart heaven and earth it was contrary to the heavenly dows it was like saying you would borrow something from someone and then hit them with it this was quite contradictory but long chen was also quite smart he compartmentalized the heavenly dao's power into two parts one part was the one kind to him and the other part was the one that hated him he was attempting to absorb the power of the heavenly dao's that favored him in order to strike the part of the heavenly dao's that detested him that way it wouldn't just be an all-out indiscriminate attack sharply reducing its power it was a good idea and he had made progress in this regard but compartmentalizing the good and bad of the heavenly dows was not so easy furthermore it had to be done in an instant it was almost impossible thus even as he absorbed the energy from the kind part of the heavenly dows he also absorbed a bit from the other side so while his attack was now several times greater than before there was still a backlash if it wasn't because the devil i water lily was so terrifying he wouldn't have risked using this move but its power was truly immense it actually made an opening for him and he charged right out of this cage bai shishi and the others were delighted to see long chen running over bai Zile immediately sent the black dragon flying over to receive him as long as they picked him up they could immediately leave however before bai Zile could even move nine different colors of divine light filled the air a giant lily appeared long chen had just escaped the cage when he was devoured by that lily and this scene caused bai shishi and the others to cry out in shock long chen also hadn't expected the devil i water lily to set up a trap for him the nine colored lily seemed to have been waiting for him as space was sealed long chen lost his sense of perception in that instant it felt like he had fallen into a bottomless hell and i then appeared behind him its nine colored pupil emitted endless killing intent as it glared at him long chen suddenly noticed that he couldn't move at all with this eye staring at him icy cold chills filled him from head to toe at some unknown point flower stamens that were as thin as threads had bound his entire body they had thorns that stabbed his body even his dragon scales were unable to stop them a mysterious energy invaded his body causing him to lose his perception long chen was appalled the devil eye water lily was too terrifying even after losing its seed pod it still possessed the power to easily kill him Navaloon. Kan long chen estimated that after losing its seed pod the devil eye water lily had manifested its true form using some other part of it as a replacement for the seed pod it then crazily absorbed the power of heaven and earth storing it for this attack if he had run while the devil eye water lily was shooting the sword light not giving it time to store up energy perhaps he would have gotten away however due to wanting to accomplish his mission he had stayed and now he was caught the nine colored lily had folded around him this was its own separate space cut off from the outside world 
it was a bit similar to the primal chaos space. Here, the devil I water lily was a supreme king. Wait, the primal chaos space. Long Chen suddenly had a thought. Just at this moment, the nine colored devil eye in front of him slowly condensed into a spear that was like a mosquito's mouthpart. It slowly pierced toward Long Chen's head. You want to take back your seed pod. Unfortunately, what has entered Boss Long San's hands doesn't get out. Long Chen laughed. Suddenly, the space behind Long Chen shook and black soil gushed out like a river freed from a dam. It filled this world. Seeing this, the nine colored lily trembled. Long Chen then felt a burst of power, and he was sent flying out. As the black soil filled the air, he saw the giant lily rapidly shrinking. Aha, I also have something terrifying. Long Chen laughed and flew away. He was then swallowed by a black dragon. It was the one that Bai Zio was in control of. Fun! As soon as Long Chen entered the flying boat, Bai Zio ordered the black dragon to flee. Long Chen then spread its divine sense. He saw black kai floating out of the devil eye water lily. It was shrouding itself in black mist. Seeing this, Long Chen sighed with relief. This time, he really had managed to flee from the gates of hell. The devil eye water lily was truly terrifying, let alone in its current state that could be considered the immortal king realm. Even if it was in the divine lord realm, he wouldn't be a match for it. For an existence on this level, fighting across realms was a joke. Fortunately, the black soil restrained it. It seemed to be in the midst of expelling poison, trying to expel the energy of the black soil's devouring ability. Long Chen sighed with relief. When he fought Li Ryan back then, she possessed a surprising resistance to the black soil. As for the devil eye water lily, he didn't know if it was because its resistance to the black soil was simply weaker, or if the black soil's power had increased after ascending to the immortal world, but the black soil was actually very effective against it. That was stimulating. Looking at the countless devil dragons chasing them, crazily, Long Chen sighed emotionally. Jiang Yu and the others almost cried. Grandpa Long, we still haven't escaped. Those terrifying black dragons are about to catch up. Please think of something. Chapter 3295 Pursuit Long Chen had fled, while the devil I water lily was still crazily emitting that black kai seemingly expelling the black soil's energy from within it. Based on Long Chen's guess, the only reason the black soil had such an immense effect on it was because it had swallowed Long Chen into its core. That was where it was strongest, but it was also where it was weakest. Now, it was powerless to chase. As for the devil dragons, they refused to let Long Chen off. They covered the sun with their black wings as they chased. No need to worry. They won't catch up, said Long Chen, not at all worried. That was because Bai Ziol had always been in control of this black dragon. The other black dragons were already filled with holes as a result of the devil I water lily. As expected, the black dragons were thrown further and further into the distance. Seeing this, Jiang Yu and the others almost wept with relief. They were also ruthless characters born of blood and fire, but they had never come to such a terrifying place before. The feeling of gradually leaving the danger was relieving. They flew past the dark forest, and up ahead was the vile dragon valley. The vile dragons simply knelt down, too scared to move in front of the black dragon. Should we go steal some more dragon eggs? It won't take long. Just a few breaths' time would be enough, said Jiang Yu, a bit moved as she looked back and saw that the black dragons were thrown far into the distance. If they were on their own, they wouldn't dare to come back to Vile Dragon Valley. Hence, such an opportunity only came once in a lifetime. Jian Yu's suggestion aroused the desire of the other three as well. 
those black dragons behind them were injured and slow even if they had to waste a few seconds it wouldn't be fatal long chen shook his head do you really think that we've escaped the danger you should keep praying pray that we can get back to jayaming ancient city if that terrifying lily recovers we'll be dead ah uh, the four of them were dumbfounded they had thought that everything was over but now their hearts clenched once more can that lily leave its territory asked jang yu long chen looked outside and didn't reply seeing this jang yu was embarrassed and didn't keep asking questions the four of them once more became apprehensive long chen just what kind of life form is that how is it so terrifying i've never heard of such a thing asked by shishi just a glance at the inside of the lily had almost caused her to lose her mind she was very curious about it it's a life form that has continued down from the desolate era it is a devil i water lily from the undying world it is rumored to be a branch of a species from the primal chaos era it is very well known there is a saying that when its devil eye opens all life must submit its devil eye can be considered a bit similar to byzile's three flower pupils but it is also not that similar its devil eye unleashes spiritual attacks and physical attacks i myself almost died to it said long chen long chen hadn't expected that its devil i would also possess physical attacks he had only risked it because he thought that his spiritual strength and will would be strong enough to resist its spiritual attacks the moment he was captured by it if he hadn't suddenly thought of unleashing the black soil within the primal chaos space he would probably have died here a species from the primal chaos era everyone was horrified it had to be known that this was an era that the human race had almost no understanding of if it's so terrifying why did you take this risk demanded by shishi her voice quivering a bit let's not talk about it i'm injured and need to adjust my condition there might be another fight in a bit Zyol, make sure the devil dragon keeps flying at full speed said long chen he closed his eyes and meditated in truth he wasn't injured as any injuries had long since healed he just didn't want to keep discussing this matter after all there were outsiders amongst them hearing that there might be another big battle coming up their hearts clenched the black dragon was flying extremely quickly with bai Zyol urging it on it was flying without a care for its own life it was igniting its essence blood just to increase its speed an instant's sticks worth of time later they passed through vile dragon valley the scenery in front of them grew familiar and jang yu and the others relaxed slightly they would quickly reach jayaming ancient city boom suddenly the void exploded in the distance space twisted and the giant devil eye water lily appeared filling heaven and earth it was right behind them it has caught up everyone cried out in shock the devil i water lily was erupting with black kai and it was so large that it blasted apart the clouds in the sky after that a terrifying pressure appeared and made it impossible for them to even breathe the devil i water lily had expelled all the black soil furthermore its pressure was even more terrifying than before as soon as it appeared it unleashed a huge shock wave that came crashing toward their black dragon cut off your connection to the dragon shouted long chen to bai Zyol. boom the huge black dragon was directly blasted apart in their flying boat they were sent tumbling through a chaotic mass of ground meat the flying boat smashed through the peak of a mountain and tumbled to the ground it then fell apart as it bounced across the ground long chen was holding by Zyol and by shishi he endured most of the impact for the two of them the two of them didn't possess powerful physical bodies especially by Zyol. 
he might have been directly blasted apart from that impact as they came tumbling out of the broken boat they were all wretched jang yu and the others coughed up blood their bodies on the verge of collapse although they were immortal kings their physical bodies weren't any stronger than kai yu and the others Sio, use your teleportation technique shouted long chen just as he stabilized himself just then the black kai condensed into a giant heavenly sword slashed toward long chen and the others fortunately bai Ziol had activated his spatial art and they all vanished the sword landed only on the ground creating a giant earth wave but it didn't affect long chen and the others Boop. suddenly a lily pierced through the void long chen and the others fell from the sky it can track and break my transportation orbit shouted by Ziol. his spatial art was actually interrupted long chen coughed up blood when the spatial art was broken it caused an immense spatial tearing force however in order to protect everyone he endured that impact on his own his body almost shattered it was simply because by Ziol's physical body was too weak the slightest bit of that tearing power could have taken his life so long chen had no choice but to take it all in seeing long chen in this state bai shishi cried out she had been curious why she wasn't injured at all run toward the city long chen shouted at the others while he picked up his bone saber and charged at the devi i water lily chapter three thousand two hundred ninety six the unmatched devil i water lily they were already very close to jaming ancient city but the devil i water lily had also descended upon them with its next blow it could kill them all it was precisely due to this that long chen charged at the devil i water lily only by taking the initiative against it could he win a chance for the others to get away a giant saber image soared into the heavens and slashed down split the heavens oh the saber image smashed into the nine colored lily and exploded unable to shake the lily at all ah without heavenly dao energy an ordinary attack is unable to threaten it at all long chen sighed powerlessly inside he didn't dare to merge the power of the heavenly daos into his attack again as he only had half of his spiritual yuan remaining if he couldn't force it back in one move then the backlash would cause him to temporarily lose his combat power he might even lose consciousness so he couldn't gamble on that he was aware of just how bad his luck was the lily merely quivered ever so slightly before charging at long chen however its speed was impacted by the blow which was precisely the effect that long chen wanted after that flames appeared in long chen's left hand and lightning appeared in his right hand in his left hand was a flame lotus while in his right hand was a lightning sphere the flames and lightning mixed together and instantly grew lightning flame destruction long chen then sent the mix of lightning and flame energy smashing into the lily as a result a huge explosion erupted the lightning and flame runes were exploding all over filling the sky with chaos and shattering the ten thousand daos seeing this countless birds and beasts fled for their lives it was as if the apocalypse had come within this explosion of flames and lightning long chen retreated and coughed up three large mouthfuls of blood this one attack contained a mix of all of lay linger and huo linger's power neither of them had held back at all and so there had been no way for them to protect long chen thus even he himself was injured by this explosion as for the lily it was enduring over ten times the impact that he did the glorious and glistening lily was now turned black by the lightning and flames two of its petals were dropping it was clearly injured suddenly a huge eye opened inside this charred lily all the colors of the lily then flowed into this eye turning it into a nine colored devil eye in that instant long chen's expression completely changed 
He hadn't thought that this attack of his would only manage to injure some petals, but not its core. When its devil I opened, a nine-colored sword condensed of light shot toward Long Chen. Not good. Long Chen's heart sank. In that instant, he found himself unable to move. It was the same move that he had faced inside of the lily. However, this time, it was too far for his black soil to reach the lily. Even if he poured out all the black soil that he could, it wouldn't affect anything. Long Chen hadn't expected this. Its previous divine abilities were physical attacks, but now it was a kind of spatial pupil art. It was countless times stronger than Bai Ziyol's techniques. Despite already giving a high estimate of the devil, I water Lily's power, he had still underestimated it. He was now caught in its grasp once more, and could only watch as that nine-colored divine light shot toward him. He was unable to dodge. His head was blank. He had failed. The power difference between the two of them was too great. Also, the price for failure was death. He was unwilling, but all his struggle was useless. He was unable to break free from this spatial compression. It was his first time feeling so powerless. Just as the sword of light was about to pierce his body, a golden ray stabbed into the devil eye, instantly piercing through it. After that, a strange but furious roar shook heaven and earth. The sword attacking Long Chen vanished, and the heaven-encompassing lily closed in on itself. Its body vanished. Bai Shishi then appeared, her face pale as paper. She had unleashed her full power to activate her golden sword's power, dealing a heavy injury to the devil, I water lily. That meant she had saved Long Chen's life. Long Chen was delighted. But seeing that she had overdrafted her power, he caught her and carried her toward jamming ancient city as fast as possible. Didn't I tell you to run? Why didn't you listen? Looking at the incredibly pale Bai Shishi, Long Chen sighed. Despite how deathly pale she was, she had a very pleased expression. If I had left, wouldn't you have been killed? Furthermore, when have I ever listened to you? I, Bai Shishi, only listened to myself. Bai Ziol had activated his spatial art to bring them all away. But Bai Shishi had jumped out of his range and hadn't gone with them. As she worried about Long Chen, she had been gathering her power for an all-out attack the entire time. Her prudence ultimately saved Long Chen's life. Her response made Long Chen laugh, but it also moved him. This stubborn girl actually had such a cute side. Being held by Long Chen and seeing the smile that was a bit bitter on his face, Bai Shishi was even more pleased. Your life was saved by me, so you'll need to treat me as your savior. You can't treat me so fiercely in the future, or I'll bring up this matter again. Long Chen laughed. He knew that someone as proud as Bai Shishi wouldn't do such a thing. It was just a joke. That smile left Bai Shishi a bit dazed. This was a smile from Long Chen's inner heart, and it was very warm. It was like the sun nourishing all life, making her feel warm and safe. After staring for a bit, Bai Shishi's face reddened. She slowly leaned her head against Long Chen's chest. Smelling his particular odor, she actually fell asleep with a sweet smile on her face. Within Jiaming ancient city, countless people were shaking with terror. When they saw that immense devil I water lily, when its devil Kai reached them, they were so terrified that they couldn't even move. Moreover, when they saw Long Chen fighting that terrifying life form, they were dumbfounded. Bai Ziol and the others then appeared in the city, and then Long Chen came back while holding Bai Shishi. As for that terrifying life form, it had left. Long Chen and the others sat on the ground panting. They felt paralyzed. As for Jane, Yu, and the others, they were simply lying on the ground without a care, soaking in sweat. It was still pouring out of them until they were lying in small pools. Having returned with their lives, they swore to never go out adventuring again. It was their first time feeling just how beautiful it was to be living. 
Long Chen then gave Bai Shishi a medicinal pill to heal and found a place for her to have a good rest. The devil I water Lily didn't come back after leaving, and even the black dragons didn't pursue them. Long Chen finally sighed with relief. It seemed that Jiaming ancient city truly possessed something that those existences were afraid of. They didn't dare to approach it. The next day, Bai Shishi woke up and Long Chen gathered everyone. Chapter 3297 Establishing the Altar I said that after this matter, every person would be given a dragon egg. Now all sides are satisfied. Long Chen had Bai Ziol take out four devil dragon eggs. Bai Ziol had a pained expression, but since Long Chen had said it, he had no choice but to do this painful thing that was like cutting off a piece of his own flesh. He gave the four dragon eggs to them. The four of them were all excited to obtain these dragon eggs. It had to be known that once these eggs hatched and matured, that would be a spirit to your immortal king mount. Once this dragon matures, I'll leave the vile dragon domain, said the Iron Blood mercenary group's leader very directly. That startled everyone, but they quickly understood that he was looking for peace. His meaning was that once his dragon matured, he would also have reached the spirit tier. With that kind of power, why would he stay in a broken place like this? He could find any mountain and establish his own sect. Wouldn't being a sect master be good? I'm the same. The blood-drinking alliance's leader nodded. With power, who would stay here? I'm going to find a powerful husband and research how to make children. Jiang Yu also expressed her wish, but this time she didn't use Long Chen as the butt of her joke. That battle had shown her that Long Chen was an absolutely terrifying figure that couldn't be provoked. I really envy you. Even if I have power, I can only stay and die here. Zhao Qinglong bitterly smiled. He had offended the Blood Kill Hall. So, even with a devil dragon, he didn't dare to leave the vile dragon domain. The others expressed sympathy for him. After having escaped death, even Jiang Yu's hatred for him had lessened. Although the four of them had obtained the spirit king pills and dragon eggs, they had lost their vice leaders. So, the four of them all wanted a time of peace for them to cultivate and raise their new house bits. Everyone, don't worry. After going through something like that, we don't have to be so hostile to each other. We can all get along peacefully. There's no need to block each other, declared Zhao Qinglong. He also expressed his attitude. Since they all wanted to leave, then this domain would be ruled by him. As they no longer had any conflicts, he directly made a verbal agreement. As a result, the four of them were all relieved. All of them were in similar positions, and they didn't want to waste any precious time. Junior brother, I really have to thank you this time. Jiang Yu turned to Long Chen. No need. You've helped me out immensely this time. Without you there might have been another conclusion, said Long Chen. Although these four didn't seem to be useful, without them leading the way, without them helping capture that black dragon, Perhaps that tiny bit of power missing would have been the cause of a complete collapse. How can you say that? Riches are found in danger. If you want to gain something, you must pay something. Brother, if you need anything in the future, just ask, said Zhao Qinglong. After bearing witness to Long Chen's terrifying power, the four of them all wanted a good relationship with him. That would only benefit them. Long Chen smiled. That was precisely the sucking up that he had been waiting for. It just so happens that I do have something I want to ask everyone's help for. Please go ahead and say it, said Zhao Qinglong. Long Chen said, You also know that I am the dean of the High Firmament Academy's Seventh Branch Academy. However, this time, you also saw that taking back our territory is impossible. Cough. Well, what I mean is that it will require some effort. Long Chen seemed to have misspoken. 
he hastily said i will definitely come back to the seventh branch academy especially in the near future upon hearing this the four of their expressions changed long chen hastily waved his hand don't worry i definitely won't make the four of you go through any danger only then did the four of them sigh with relief having won back their lives this time they didn't want to take any more risks in their lifetime the devil eye water lily and the black devil dragons were their nightmares they wanted to forget about them for the rest of their lives hence asking them to do something like this again was no different than asking for their lives you just need to organize some people and build an altar here offer sacrifice every day with a major ceremony occurring every half a month the more solemn the better it would be best if all your subordinates could participate said long chen they were left dumbfounded they hadn't expected long chen to request such a thing from them jiang yu asked what are we sacrificing use the bones of devil beasts place them on the altar and burn them said long chen burn them they were even more confused sacrifices weren't burnt normally sacrificial offerings required some kind of divine energy and the altar would absorb them as a result different altars required different sacrifices long chen wanted them to sacrifice bones and then burn them on the altar what was that supposed to mean in all their years they had never heard of such a sacrificial ceremony but they also weren't in a convenient position to ask they only started getting to work according to long chen's arrangements as a result the altar was already finished on the second day after that the four of them almost laughed how was this a sacrificial altar it was clearly a pyre basically a stove they held back bitter smiles not daring to say anything for fear of getting long chen angry they had to act very curious saying that they had never seen anything so mysterious and amazing in any case all kinds of fawning words were thrown his way it wasn't as if those words cost them anything long chen had them take out some devil beast skeletons and put them on the wooden frame they were then directly set on fire these beast skeletons were quite tough and the fire only charred them a bit after that long chen solemnly walked two loops around the altar murmuring something he then had everyone walk around the altar as well three times inside their hearts they were holding back countless questions after the bones were charred black they were thrown away and the ceremony was complete it was very simple so simple that it felt like someone was playing a joke on them however while everyone was full of questions no one dared to say anything if long chen wanted them to do this then they would do it every half a month they would hold an even grander ceremony requiring the participation of ten thousand people at least zhao king long directly promised that he would do this after that long chen and the others returned to their flying boat to rest Bai Shishi activated its formation, preventing others from spying on them here. Long Chan, what is the point of that altar? I don't understand anything that you were murmuring either, asked Bai Shishi. There were no longer any outsiders here. Kin Feng and the others also wanted to know the answer. He he, I can't say. Long Chen chortled, infuriating Bai Shishi to the point of wanting to beat him but if he refused to say there was nothing that she could do long chen refused to even say it to the few of them that he could trust it seemed that this matter had big implications let's rest for two more days if nothing else happens we'll prepare to leave said long chen eh? just as long chen and the others were resting in a far-off distant world two people were conversing in a divine palace do you know that the high firmament academy is preparing to reopen their seventh branch academy even the seventh branch academy's official dean's seal has been issued 
said a skinny young man with a golden crown on his head. He was speaking to a slightly pudgy man. This man was precisely the leader of the blood-kill hall that shook the heavens, in Puda. Favorite. Chapter 3298. Jael Uo, Brother Jael Uo, you personally came to ask me about such a minor thing. What, is this the will of the divine venerate? Asked in Puda, laughing. This young man before him was Lord Brahma's direct disciple, Jael Uo. His fame in the immortal world was not at all inferior to Imputa's. Although he looked young, his reputation preceded him. He had once caused a storm of blood to fall across the immortal world. Jael Uo shook his head. Master has been in seclusion all these years. He doesn't have the time to deal with such matters. I simply feel that the High Firmament Academy is no longer being obedient. It seems that their restraint has reached their limit. They seem to wish to restore their past glory, a comeback on the verge of death. Before going into seclusion, Master told me to keep an eye on the High Firmament Academy. I have no choice but to be careful about them. Imputa smiled. Brother Jael Uo, you really are meticulous. You are the most outstanding of the Divine Venerate's disciples. Perhaps you will be the one to take up the Divine Venerate's mantle in the future. Imputa called this man brother. The two of them were clearly quite close. Brother, you're joking. I came to ask you about what you think of the High Firmament Academy's latest movements. Master told me to ask you for guidance if things are unclear. So I came, said Jael Yuo. Imputa's smile widened. His plump face bounced as he laughed. The Divine Venerate praises me too much. For you to have received the Divine Venerate's favor, it's proof that your aptitude is definitely one in a billion. I only have a few years on you and only a bit more experience, so I wouldn't call it guidance. But the Divine Venerate also told me to keep an eye on the High Firmament Academy in secret. I am aware of all their movements. However, in order to test them, I deliberately accepted a new disciple and put a ring of light around him just to test the High Firmament Academy's bottom line. Through Bui Yan, I found that the High Firmament Academy has been pushed to the edge of a cliff and can no longer retreat. That fellow Long Chen seems to be a High Firmament Academy's pawn. He really is a bit strange. Everyone says that he is an ascender from the lower plane. But I feel like this isn't too likely. Almost everywhere in the lower plane is under our gaze. Such a figure would definitely be the top heavenly genius of a mortal world, so we can't possibly not know him. I feel that it's very likely that Long Chen is a special chess piece that the High Firmament Academy raised in secret. His identity as an ascender is nothing more than a disguise the High Firmament Academy came up with to trick us. But if that really was the case, why wouldn't they keep him secret until the end? To expose him at such a time isn't wise, said Jael Yuo. Brother, you don't know just how many secret geniuses the High Firmament Academy has raised. They have always been hiding their power. They tossed out a single Long Chen just to draw out attention, similar to how I raised Gui Yun. I even announced that he was my most cherished disciple just as a foundation for this plot. I suspect that they tossed out Long Chen so that our attention is focused on him while they prepare other moves in secret, set in Puda. You mean that? It's only a guess. We'll need more proof to see if I'm right. Just then... A ring on Imputa's finger lit up. He smiled. There is already news from the vile dragon domain. Take a look. Imputa handed Jael Yuo a jade tablet, and Jael Yuo scanned it with his divine sense. He was surprised by the contents. Long Chen really went to the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy. He even cut off the seed pot of the Devil Eye Water Lily. Is this news confirmed? and Puda confidently said, is definitely true. The Bloodkill Hall has a set of eyes there. One of my followers followed him, 
but it was just to fool others. That person is actually my devoted follower. There is definitely no doubt. However, it really is surprising that Long Chen could cut off the devil I water lily's seed pod. That is the emperor amongst the devil flowers. When the nine colors of reincarnation are unleashed, any immortal king would be killed. But Long Chen actually cut off its seed pod. After it lost its seed pod, it didn't even have a tenth of its original power. It's not too surprising that Long Chen could escape. The follower that Imputa was talking about was Zhao King Long. If Bai Shishi, Jiang Yu, and the others were present, they would definitely be shocked. They had all been tricked by Zhao King Long. He truly hid himself deeply. A scene appeared in front of them. That scene was of Long Chen and the others circling a fire. They solemnly offered sacrifice, with Long Chen murmuring something that none of them could understand. Afterward, Long Chen and the others set foot on their flying boat. Even after activating the flying boat's formation, the scene didn't end. Every single one of their movements was recorded. My guess really is right. Amongst all of them, only Long Chen understands his true mission. Even Bai Lishan's grandchildren are unaware, sneered in Puda Navaloon, Kam is he a fool? What kind of altar is this? Does he take us for fools? If he really wanted to fool us, at the very least, he should construct a decent altar and send more forces. Jail Yuo couldn't hold back his scorn. How is this an altar? It was no more than a stove. Using devil beast bones as an offering, just burning them black and the ceremony was complete. Would they fool a single person with this nonsense? What is fake is real. What is real is fake. This little demon is quite crafty. For the High Firmament Academy to send him out and even let him know their true goal, he must not be ordinary, said Impuda. Then what should we do now? asked Jiao Yuo. We will continue watching Long Chen. But this isn't the important part. The important thing is to keep watch over the ruins of the other branch academies. Long Chen cut off the devil I water lily's seed pod. Hence, it is definitely enraged and will demand reinforcements from the undying world. Once it recovers, it might even directly launch an attack on the High Firmament Academy. It was at great lengths that we buried that ancient devil corpse there to draw the undying world's attention. It was just so that they would guard that place for us. We originally needed to pay a bit more attention there, but now there is absolutely no need. The devil I water lily will definitely not take this lightly, so this matter won't end like this. The vile dragon domain is now the least likely area for the High Firmament Academy to reclaim. The price for them to even attempt such a thing is unbearable for them. But there's no need for you to worry. We already have our eyes where the large ruins are. Not even the slightest breeze escapes us. Furthermore, taking back those ruins is a process that requires a great deal of time. We've been setting things up for thousands and thousands of years. Does the High Firmament Academy really think that they can flip the board? Hee hee, would we give them that chance? And Pewter laughed. Your plans really are awesome, brother. If that's the case, then why don't I go kill Long Chen for you? A sinister killing intent appeared on Jiel Yuo's face. He vaguely felt that Long Chen was very dangerous. He couldn't be left alive. Favorite. Chapter 3299 Who is more sinister? Impossible. Impudus shook his head. Why not? Asked a surprised Jael Yuo. Bai Leshen is a sanctimonious, wily old fox, and he schemes deeply. We've already suffered quite a bit at his hands. From my understanding of him, he has tossed out Long Chen as bait. If we kill Long Chen, we'll fall for his trap. Bai Leshen raised a talented piece like Long Chen, so he won't let us devour him so easily. Actually, ignoring a wily old fox like Bai Leshen, if you were in his spot, 
would you allow others to simply kill Long Chen for nothing? asked in Puda. Well, no, no wonder my master told me to ask you for guidance. I really am lacking in this regard, sighed Jael Yuo. No, brother, your talent is extremely high. The Divine Venerate didn't want to get you involved with people's scheming as that would delay your cultivation. Due to my own limited talent, if it hadn't been for the Divine Venerate favoring me, how could I have my current accomplishments? Just leave these trifling affairs to me. You should focus on your cultivation. You just advanced to a heaven tier a mortal king, so you need to calm your heart and comprehend the new discoveries of this realm. Once you solidify your foundation, you can prepare to advance to the world king realm, advised in Puda. Jiao Yuo said, when I fought by Zhan Teng, he managed to win by one move through luck. I've always felt a bit irritated over it. I want to remove this irritation before I make my breakthrough into the world king realm. Otherwise, my heart won't be at rest. Bai Zhanteng is also extremely talented. But he suddenly vanished from the outside world after fighting against you in the Divine Lord realm, and he hasn't taken half a step out of the High Firmament Academy ever since. The current Im should have also set foot into the Immortal King realm, but he has been concealing his cultivation base all this time. With a wily old fox like Bai Leshen protecting him, killing him is very difficult. He won't give you that chance, said in Puda after a moment's thought. Brother, I don't understand. We are so powerful, but why is Master so afraid of the High Firmament Academy? Jail Yuo couldn't help asking this question. Ah, brother, you don't know about these things because Lord Brahma didn't tell you about them. He doesn't want to distract you. All your focus should be on cultivation. The High Firmament Academy is not as simple as you take it. The most ancient academy within the Nine Heavens and Ten Lands possesses a very terrifying foundation. There is one particular living fossil within the academy that makes even divine venerate Brahma not dare to attack it. We are simply stalling for time against them. With every passing day, they weaken ever so slightly, while we strengthen. The more time that passes, the more favorable it is to us. So you must be patient and not impetuous. Don't give them a chance to make a comeback, said Imputa profoundly. Jael Yuo nodded. I understand. I will return and solidify my realm. But not killing Bai Jantain will affect my Tao heart and will influence my breakthrough into the world king realm. Brother, you are a master strategist. Please try to find a chance for me to fight Bai Zhanteng again. I will wait for you. Impuda could only helplessly agree. Fine, just wait for news from me. I will do my best to arrange this for you. Ah, uh, can you also tell Io Ben King that if he can't find any more nine star heirs, just send a few people after Long Chen. Even if they can't assassinate Long Chen, just causing some trouble for him would be good. Don't let him grow too quickly. From these probing blows, we might be able to figure out the intentions of that wily old fox by Leshen. The Lyo Ban King that Imputa mentioned was an equally shocking figure. He was the master of the Nine Underworld Hall, a power that also raised assassins. But the Nine Underworld Hall's assassins were specialized in locating and hunting down Nine Star Heirs. They were both emperors of assassins and also Lord Brahma's valuable subordinates. However, the two of them weren't that friendly with each other. There were often some conflicts that sprung up between them. The main problem was that Lyo Benkane was a proud and aloof figure. He was stubborn. Thus, the nine underworld hunters' techniques deviated more toward direct assassinations. But in Puda's bloodkill hall was more focused on schemes and plotting to kill people. Poison, traps, swindling, and even using children, the bloodkill hall was willing to use any means necessary to kill their target. 
Lyo Benkeng looked down on this, so every time he saw in Puda, he would raise his nose and scoff in contempt. Although in Puda was an old schemer with a great deal of restraint, being treated like this was still unbearable for him. Thus, the two of them weren't very friendly with each other. In fact, there were even cases of their disciples killing each other. If it wasn't for Lord Brahma holding the reins, a bloody battle might have erupted between the two of them. Thus, despite both being Lord Brahma's subordinates, the two of them never had any interactions. Impuda wanted the Nine Underworld Hall to also participate in the matter of assassinating Long Chen. He knew that once they joined in, the competitive Nine Underworld Hall would go to great lengths to kill Long Chen. They would want to kill him before the Blood Kill Hall did. After all, the Blood Kill Hall had issued the Blood Kill Order. If the Nine Underworld Hall's people killed Long Chen instead, that would be a slap in the Blood Kill Hall's face. That was what the Nine Underworld Hall's people liked the most. Jael Yuo smiled. How could he not know what Imputa was thinking? Anyway, he also didn't like Lyo Benkang, so he was willing to help Imputa out with this. Imputa and Jael Yuo exchanged a smile. Both those smiles were a bit sinister, but they were unaware that while the two of them were smiling, Long Chen was also smiling. Their flying boat flew out of the vile dragon domain, and they didn't face any further attacks from the devil eye water lily. Once they were out of the vile dragon domain, Long Chen started laughing. He was laughing like he was a fool, making Bai Shi Shi angry. But she also found it funny. What are you laughing for? asked Bai Shi Shi. I'm laughing at Impuda. There is at least a ninety percent chance that this old fellow was observing me from behind. Long Chen laughed with a sinister smile. It was a bit similar to a fox that had stolen a chicken. And Puda, you don't know, but Zhao Qinglong is actually a follower of the Bloodkill Hall. The first time I saw him, I knew. He can trick others, but he can't trick me. I'm all too familiar with the Bloodkill Hall. Even if his cultivation technique, his aura, and every other aspect of him are a perfect disguise, the faith fluctuations from the depths of his soul cannot escape me. That fellow definitely reported every single one of our movements to Impuda. Everything I said on the flying boat was just for them to listen on, said Long Chen. Everyone was startled. Gao King Long was one of Impuda's followers. They had all been tricked. So the story of him being hunted by the Bloodkill Hall was a fabrication. With Impuda's suspicious nature, he is doubtful about everyone. He is always suspicious about every possibility, but he doesn't know that Boss San's methods are something that he will never be able to see through. Just wait. It won't be long before the name of the Dean of the High Firmament Academy's seventh branch sect, Dean Boss Long San, rings throughout the world. Ah! Oh. Long Chen laughed as if everything was within his control. Navaloon, Kamsi Gujarati Shunya am within the ruins of the abyss that they had just visited. The underground foundation stone was now sparkling. A tiny, tiny rune had lit up within it. In Jaming ancient city, as people continued to burn the bones, a rune on the altar shattered. As it burned, an imperceptible energy flowed into the air and vanished. No one knew that these traces of energy were slowly flying toward the ruins of the Seventh Branch Academy, merging into the foundation stone without anyone being the wiser. These traces of energy were absorbed by that stone. All of this was unknown to anyone except Long Chen. What was true was false, and what was false was true. Sometimes it was the simplest tricks that were more likely to fool wily old foxes. After all, it was often those that were confident in their swimming skills that drowned. Chapter 3300 There's more than just one way leaving the vile dragon domain gave everyone a sense of relief. Within the vile dragon domain, they constantly felt that there was an eye watching them. That was the eye of the devil eye water lily. They didn't know what kind of technique it was using, 
but they felt its eye watching through space. It was very uncomfortable. Long Chen probed it by leaving, but it only watched and didn't attack. Just as Long Chen predicted, Bai Shishi's attack had truly left a serious wound in its body. It had yet to recover, and could only watch them leave. After they left the vile dragon domain, a feeling of unease vanished. Clearly, the devil eye water lily's power could cover this entire domain. It was truly terrifying. But outside of the vile dragon domain, they were instantly relieved of that pressure. However, they still found a hidden place for Bai Shishi to continue recuperating. The berserk aura within the vile dragon domain was not suitable for Bai Shishi's recovery. In order to save Long Chen, Bai Shishi had not held back. She had damaged her core and was unable to heal it in this region. As Bai Shishi recovered, Bai Ziol and the others stood guard. As for Long Chen, he sank into the primal chaos space. Only now did he have time to deal with the seed pod. The seed pod had five seeds flickering with five different colors. Each of them contained immense power. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth five elements that have been raised to the pinnacle. That's equivalent to five cores or five dachins. Sensing this terrifying power, Long Chen was truly amazed. That devil eye water lily was incredibly powerful. The fact that he hadn't died this time was all thanks to dumb luck. The devil eye water lily seed is the main ingredient in the violet tower pill. I also have the eye of devil dragons now but I'm still lacking quite a few secondary ingredients. There's also quite a bit of distance until the Divine Lord Realm, so I won't be able to use these seeds for now. Bai Shishi saved my life, so I should give the Metal Element Seed to her. As for the Fire Element Seed, a eh? Long Chan suddenly noticed that the Fire Element Seed had vanished. There was still a ball of flames in its original spot, but the seed was gone. Long Chen looked and couldn't help laughing. In the distance, Huo Linger was in dragon form, coiling around the seed. She had long since taken it and started consuming it. Her dragon scales flickered and her aura began to change. Long Chen could vaguely feel the devil Kai of the devil eye water lily within her. This devil eye water lily's flame seed emitted a kind of divine flame. It wasn't on the heavenly flame rankings, but its power was truly astonishing. Even the current Huo Linger could only absorb it bit by bit. It's a good thing that we cut off this seed pod, or if the slightest trace of these energies came out, I'd have died countless times, sighed Long Chen. This seed pod was the source of the Devil Eye Water Lily's power. This was where it stored energy. Even without it, just the flower itself had almost taken his life. With the seed pod, the devil eye water lily's power would rise to a level that he couldn't even imagine. Long Chen then took out the wood element seed and planted it in the ground. He also took out a skinned devil dragon that had been stripped of its useful parts, including its devil core and devil eyes, and tossed it into the black soil. When it was devoured by the black soil, a huge amount of life energy was unleashed in the primal chaos space. He saw the wood seed begin to germinate. In an instant's sticks worth of time, it spread roots into the ground. Seeing this, Long Chen sighed with relief. This indicated that he would have an endless amount of devil eye water lilies in the future. Moreover, he didn't need to go hunt down more devil eye water lilies for medicinal ingredients. That would make him collapse. Two hours later, the dragon was fully devoured, but the seed had only sprouted an inch tall shoot. After sprouting, it actually climbed out of the ground and began to crawl across the ground like an earthworm. Looking in the direction it was crawling, Long Chen was startled. He then picked it off of the ground and placed it near the center of the primal chaos space. As expected, it continued crawling toward the black soil. When it was at the intersection between the yellow and black soil, it finally stopped. 
after that its body began to shine this place also had a lot of yin yang immortal grasses growing those were a treasure he had obtained in the lower plain but in the immortal world they no longer counted as rare the soft shoot glow at this moment the surrounding yin yang immortal grasses began to wither and then died quite a bit of water vapor then appeared around the soft shoot until it formed a small puddle it's actually creating its own living environment long chen was amazed the devil eye water lily was truly terrifying it was said that the devil eye water lily grew in the crack between the undying world and the devil world now it actually chose such a place to grow without hesitation long chen planted the water and earth element seeds as well they also quickly sprouted and glowed now the yin yang immortal grasses on the border of the black soil had all withered it was as if these sprouts refused to share their nutrients with other life forms a pool of water several feet wide quickly appeared on the border between the black soil and the yellow soil the three lily sprouts were growing inside the water inside was a mix of two colors forming a taiji diagram it slowly flowed this sight stunned long chen novelone calm he hadn't expected the devil i water lily to cause such a phenomenon in the primal chaos space they created an environment for themselves long chen threw more dragon corpses into the black soil and life energy exploded within the primal chaos space the wood foundation divine trees quickly grew thicker but the devil i water lily's growth was still very slow two hours later finally some green leaves appeared and they floated on top of the surface of the water they glistened with mysterious marks innately appearing on them then the second layer and third layer of leaves appear in the end there were nine layers of leaves and the puddle had been transformed into a thirty meter pool every lily had reached the height of a person finally long chen saw two small flower buds rise out of the water from each lily long chen knew that in the future one of these buds would become the nine colored lily flower and the other would become the seed pod long chen continued throwing in corpses only to find that he had used them all up however the devil i water lilies had only reached this level of growth long chen was speechless he didn't know just how many corpses he would need to make them fully mature their growth was truly slow however when he thought about it the devil i water lily that he had encountered had probably been growing there for millions of years or even longer he should be happy that his had grown to this level without any more corpses he could only leave things as they were he was just about to leave the primal chaos space when he suddenly looked at the wood foundation divine trees and shouted in shock at some point they had reached a height of three thousand miles flower buds finally appeared on top of them they are blooming long chen went wild with delight this indicated that they had finally reached maturity they were going to start bearing fruit.